Hello, board members. How are we doing this fine, fine Saturday afternoon? Well, I hope. Um, as it is Saturday, uh, we would traditionally be doing a immersive, aka no face cam horror stream. But as today is a sort of a, a, a mildly special occasion, we're going to be doing something a little different. That's right. Um, I'm set up here in a random storage closet where they said it was fine to spill stuff on the floor and make a mess and whatever else. Um, we are going to be doing today um, at least one paint along to Bob Ross. Now, is it going to, how is it going to work? I can't tell you. I know I am set up here in this little, little room. Yeah. I've got stuff on top of other things, and it's all working, and I've got a little table for the stuff. I've got a, a second uh, a second camera, a little more zoomed in here, so we can see what's going on. Hopefully, everyone can hear me, and hopefully, everything is uh, looking okay. Now, I want to test something to see how this is going to work. Hi, welcome back. Certainly okay, so hopefully, you can all hear that. That is That is the master himself, Bob Ross. Um, I can't really hear it because of the way I have my audio set up. If I were to make it so I could hear it, you'd get a nice loop. And that's not what I want to do. So, uh, essentially, I'm going to be reading his prompts. And then you can all hear his prompts. Um, you can watch along, of course. We are doing uh, Season 27, Episode 9, Island Paradise. Um, as you can see here, I have some pre-made stuff, as he recommended. Um, we have... Uh, it took a little while to set. Ika, welcome. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, Ika. Um, but yeah, we he recommended us setting this up the day before, so I have done as such. Um, I have I have acquired the schmock, the, the, the apron of protection here. I have acquired one clear, dirty, with water spots, but clear uh, palette. And I have also acquired a, uh, a whole little collection of art supplies, as I hope you can all see. Um, so yeah, I have acquired most of what he recommended. Um, not all of it, because I don't think they make some of it, since all this, some of this stuff is from back in like... I want to say the 70s and 80s. Um, but I did my best to try to match what he recommended. Um, yeah, there is some obscure stuff that can be hard to find in just a regular, like, Hobby Lobby. Which is where I plan to get most of this stuff. Uh, but, Ika, how are you doing this fine Saturday? Hopefully work wasn't too bad for you. Um, but yeah. I've got some... I've got buckets of water... This is a bucket of water for washing brushes off. I've got a towel I'm sitting on for, for drying the brushes as we go. Um, I've never done this on stream. I have done this twice in the regular world. Um, but yeah. So right now, uh, looking at this, work was fine. That's good to hear. Good to hear. Um, as of right now, these videos are like 20 to 25 minutes long. I'm going to say it's going to take me about twice as long. And I'm saying it's going to probably take me anywhere from 40, 40 to probably 45 to an hour. I'm figuring per attempt at this. Is it going to be good? No, the, I, I'm not an artist. So I will do my best to replicate the photo or the, the, the painting. But um, yeah, so I'm figuring depending on how it goes. Um, we'll do. I'm hoping two. I'm hoping we can at least get through two of them tonight. Uh, this one has a preset up, and then I'm going to just find another one. And, and there will be a little bit of cleanup, of course, uh, getting the new paints and stuff ready. But hopefully we can find another one that requires an empty canvas, and we can go from there. Um, yeah, I'm I'm nervous to get started on this. So, I, but I guess... But I guess now is the time... I guess now is the time. The time and the place and the things and the stuff. All right. Let us get the, get the paint into a, a position of uh, accessibility. I had things kind of out of the way as I got them set up. You can hear the brushes. 
You hear the brushes. You hear the paints. Um, my palette. Okay. Now I was thinking about how this this setup's gonna work for audio. Make sure you can hear me, but also see what's going on. So hopefully something like this is gonna work okay. And this way I can still kind of like do stuff as we go. And you can also still hear me, hopefully. Work was fine though. Um, that's good to hear, Ika. Are you, Ika? Are you gonna be uh, watching along on your own, on your own, or are you just gonna be listening to what's coming from my stuff? It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay. Let us let us start commencing, shall we? Looking at this, I can tell I didn't do the best job. Uh, basically, what we wanted to start out with was a black undercoat. Uh, first time chatter, iBytes013, happy birthday. Thank you so much. Welcome to the chat. Just listening? Okay. But yeah, looking at this, uh, basically what we were supposed to start out with was a, uh, a I want to say, it, it's a very odd word, gesso? Acrylic gesso? Uh, a gesso undercoating of black on the bottom and kind of a gray white on top. Um, to set up stuff for today, since it's um, I I just got a text message. Yes, I'm aware who you are. It's it's fine. We're just we're all cool. Everybody's cool. Um, but uh, uh yeah. So we got a a black dress up and then a white white with mixed for the gray. Uh, we're doing a kind of a cloudy beach scene. So now if you are watching along, you'll notice that he's doing a circu uh, circular painting. I didn't want to get that fancy because he's working with a much larger canvas than I am. Um, basically what he did is he took contact paper, which is a, a one-sided sticky paper that you usually use to like line the inside of a drawer. Um, and instead he's cut a hole into it to make as kind of the porthole for the outside of his painting which is interesting and ends up being a very cool effect later on. But I'm not that fancy, um, so I'm just going to be making a classic square painting. Uh, but let's, let's, let's get a little further in. I, I will be stopping to kind of get things ready as we go because I'm not nearly as uh, uh, capable as him or as ready, but here we go. So that's why this is going to take a lot longer than the 20 minutes that he, he allots himself for an episode. I thought maybe today we'd just do a fantastic little seascape. It's very easy, and you can do it. Let's start out and run all the colors across the screen there that you need to paint. I did appreciate that not only does he mention the colors by name as he's going, but he also actually runs the the colors that he you need um, on the screen. That's very nice. If for no other reason, a lot of the time you can get the actual I thought today I'd put the little uh, in an oval. spelling because sometimes the words do not sound the way that they uh, are spelled. I took some black gesso and painted the Those fallows, by the way, are, are pretty rare. They're, they're, they're a little harder to find. Same with the, 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 the uh, gesso or whatever. Uh, then I've covered the entire thing with liquid I did not coat mine with the liquid clear. I'm not sure what that accomplishes. But I did not have the thalo green and the thalo blue. I went with the other colors that were kind of similar. I could not find thalo. I put a little brown, a little Van Dyke brown. Van Dyke Brown, Van Dyke Brown was uh, substituted with a similar, similar but different brown. For what we're doing here, so let's have some fun today. I'll we'll start out today with a little Indian yellow. A little so bit of yellow. So we're starting with a bright yellow. Now, um, he mentions a specific kind of yellow. Um, in this case, he's talking about uh, a uh, uh, oh, okay cadmium. Okay, we have the cadmium. So. He mentions this um, Indian yellow. I couldn't find that anywhere. And I assumed he wanted a bright yellow, so ours might be a little too bright. It looks like he's going with a... Um, a small amount. Oh, yeah. See, he's got more of a oh, yeah, uh, orange or a, a bronze yellow there for the... Uh, for the... Um, actually, we could probably make that. Maybe blend a little bit of burnt sienna with our yellow. What do we think? Oh, these aren't open. <laughs> That's something I didn't realize I needed to do. 
But Ika, what about you? Are you a, 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 a I know you're a, an artist in the variety of a uh, of a um, writer, but have you ever done any painting or a drawing art? I bites. If you're here, what about you? Are you are you, you're the artist type? I, I I assume if you've stopped by today. But yeah, let's let's blend a little bit of yellow. Because we've got a real bright yellow. Well, the, of the two yellows, this is the less bright one, the cadmium yellow. And we'll blend it with just a little bit of the uh, uh, burnt sienna. And then uh, that way we'll hopefully make a little bit more of a brown yellow like what, what he's working with here. Uh, I guess I'll just start over here. If this is bad technique, I apologize. Please don't, don't lose your minds. I, I am a poor little uh, painter boy who know nothing. I'm gonna get a little yellow. Ugh. The closest is my fantasy Australia map. Okay, that sounds like it's a little artistic-y. Let's mix a little brown in with it. What kind of yellow is he using? Yellow. Oh, he's using a pretty big uh, paintbrush for his for this. Let's go right up in here. And let's just put a little bit of the Indian yellow right up here in the Oh, sky. yeah. He's doing a pretty big stroke there. Right right in the middle, a little off-center, perhaps. Let's see. I've got a couple of these little two-inch brushes. I'd probably be something similar to what he's doing, though he seems like he's doing a very a very light uh, approach at it. Actually, maybe we don't. Do I have something? Actually, maybe we use one of these. Let's use something like this. Since I have such a smaller canvas to be working with. Oh yeah, there we go. That's really helping uh, cut down on the on how bright this is. I don't think it's quite as as light as his is, but this is going to be closer, I think. He's just doing a nice helping right in the middle. It looks like. All right. So, but it's pretty light. Mine's definitely going to be a little too solid, I think. I'm definitely going with a, a, a very light touch on this, lighter than mine. That's fine. That's the great thing about art. When you're doing it like this, there's, you're not technically doing any of it wrong. It's just, it's just different. Snagging some of this extra paint to kind of thin it out a little bit. All right, let us continue. Guy, something about light cap. Yeah, see, his is really light. You can actually still see the gray kind of through it. Mine's not going to have that effect. It doesn't matter if a little bit gets on the water. No big deal. Oh, he's doing like the whole thing actually. Okay. coming out like his. I don't know if I went too too thick with it or if it's just maybe I used too much paint to start off with and I should be smaller. Let's try something. Let's see if we can't thin this out just a smidge. Throw a little water on it to kind of thin it out. Oh, actually, that's better. That's helping a little bit. Mine's definitely not going to be as cloudy as his is. But this will at least help thin it out. Yeah, I really needed to go light, 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 light with this. This is way too much paint, I think, this early on for this. I don't know how he gets such a nice red yeah we'll just use a little bit of water here to help kind of thin this out it's gonna lose its gray unfortunately but that's okay we 
We're just going to have a very bright, bright, sunny day. The sun's a, a little closer on this one. It's a not quite dusk like it is for him. It's going to be a little... It's a little bit brighter day for us. But that's okay. Yeah, I think I just went too heavy with the amount of paint. That's, you know, that's rookie mistakes like I am. As he says, you know, no mistakes, it's just happy accidents, right? I believe is what, how, how they like to say it. Yeah, we definitely lost the cloudy effect, I think, but that's okay. Maybe it'll, it'll dry okay and we'll be all right. trying to pick up some of these like a little bit um, concentrated spots thin them out a little bit kind of whoop that's okay we'll, we'll be painting over that in a little bit Like he says, it's okay if you get it down in the water or in the, the bottom half because, yeah, we're going to be uh, doing stuff with that too. Yeah, I've been using a nice, very heavy glass um, water pitcher thing here. I think it's technically some kind of planter, but I wanted something heavy so that as I'm dipping the, the, the brushes in there, it's not going to um, move on me, you know? I didn't want it moving around much. Well, I think we recovered a little bit of the cloudy effect that he was going for by thinning this out and kind of picking up some of this excess paint with uh, the water. It's interesting working with paint because... Um, because if you mess up, you just paint over it. Let it dry a little bit and then paint over it. It's it's interesting. There we go. That actually looks better. I think we recovered a bit. Not fully. It's definitely going to be brighter than his, but we'll see what happens with it by the end of it. I think part of the problem is, is I don't have the... Uh, um, the... Uh, uh, that thinner paint he was talking about to let more of that gray through. Also, it helps that, you know, he's using oil and I'm using acrylics. So you got you get a very different effect when you're you're mixing your base uh, type of paint. But Ika, what what are you up to today? After work, you got any you had any big plans this evening? Any kind of interesting food lore? Might as well get onto it. Oh, yeah, really, really a little too heavy with the yellow, but that's okay. Thinned it out a bit. We'll see how it goes. All right, let us continue. It's a big deal. We don't care. This is just a fun painting, so you ought to enjoy it. Ooh, you made yourself some steak and soup today. All right, there you go. Yellow ochre now. Yellow ochre is not quite as transparent. Ah, uh, okay, so here's he's talking about the, um, the actual making the bright part bright. So we'll put it right in here. I thought we'd make a painting. So this is where I'd want to use a little bit more of a straight yellow and just do a little, little dab of, a, of actual, like, yellow. Just a tiny, tiny smidge. Add kind of just a just a smidge of uh, uh, of concentrated uh, effect there. Yep. 
probably something like that's going to be enough. Now, I don't have the blending capability he does. Uh, but, Ica, what kind of steak, steak are we talking about? Did you just get something that was on sale? Are you, are you a, a T-bone person? Ribeye, New York? You like to do a, a, full, a, a seasoned or a marinated sirloin? What's the style there? Another thing I can use. Hmm. He keeps talking about blending brushes, and it turns out those are weird. Kind of hard to find. Ooh, actually, I think this is technically a blending brush. Oh, I think that is a blending brush. Eh, you're gonna need the, You're gonna see this, the, the 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 paint strokes a lot more, but that's fine. For clearance deals, I got a bunch of sausage three pack of two point eight five pounds at three dollars each. Nice, and I got some natural peanut butter and honey half off. Oh, that's a good sandwich right there. Honey and uh, peanut butter. Can't be upset with that. It's a lot of color in it. Something that. If you hang it in a room, it'll just brighten the room. Oh, right so up. he's actually doing a, a, a lot of it all over. There we go. Interesting. Yeah, I think we probably got enough yellow. I don't think we need to throw more yellow on this. It's pretty yellowed out. On the canvas. Just and then probably not enough gray at this point. Color right over the gray gesso. And I assume the soup was... Uh... With opaque colors. Now, opaque oh, colors. okay, that let's see. You can't see through them. White is very opaque. I'm gonna take a little of that. Make a little. Right uh, go. Okay, so he's adding a little bit of just white, just a smidge of white, it looks like, just to lighten up to a little up. bit underneath kind of his the brighter parts. Okay, it's interesting, really interesting. Okay. Trying to figure out how to. Uh, I'm not having. Uh, just having some strip steak. Not much. Not sure where it's from. My mom gave it to me a bit back. Oh well, I said. Uh, I mean, country of origin is not that big a deal. It's more of just understanding what kind of steak you got. New York's are different than ribeyes, and ribeyes are different than T-bones, and T-bones are different than sirloins. All right, so we're using some white now. Is that what I'm getting here? But it's going to make a nice little shiny spot there, like, like that's where our light's coming from. Exactly yeah, so it looks like he does kind of a, a white all over. Just begin blending. Now that's going to take like the a yellow that's on the canvas and blend right together. Big brush. I guess we'll just go back to this the big one here and try a little bit of a little bit of white. I think we got the right yellow color out of all this. I think I just applied too much of it. But we'll be going back, I know, over I, I watched through this video a couple times to figure out what's going on. Kind of a, you know, not going in it totally blind on this first try. Um, and I know we do come back and add more color on top of this. I think he's just trying to set up like a a firm base of color and then we're going to add more as we go that's why i'm not worried about the yellow on the bottom is because i know we're going to end up painting over a lot of that with other colors so and, and if it's got a little bit of yellow in it you know what it's just sun reflecting off the water right i'm not sure between those options well that's fine i mean if you say it's a strip steak that probably means it's a new york strip and there's nothing wrong with that good medium era steak a, a little leaner Maybe a little chewier, depending on how you, you cook it, but nothing wrong with the New York. Technically, that's half of my favorite, which is a T-bone. Okay, so we're going to do a little blue, a little white. And we really want to just, like, looks like mix it in pretty solidly there, so. Yeah, I wasn't sure how much paint I was going to need. He's just kind of bring it in the lounge, kind of down towards, more towards the water line there. That's what this is going to actually kind of act as, is the water line. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, there's got to be another technique to kind of get what he's doing there. Maybe that's the effect of the clear coat, is it helps thin, thin that, that out a bit, so you're not getting such concentrated coloring. They didn't mention anything about, like, uh, um, putting anything in it to thin it out. But my, my coloring ends up just getting so concentrated this way. This is one of those techniques I haven't figured out. But yeah, like I assume the soup is some more of your vegetable soup. Maybe I just need to go really light with it. Maybe that's the problem is I'm just applying paint and I really don't need to be applying the paint. I mostly just need to be uh, um, like, yeah, I just, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong with this one. I think it's just I'm applying too much paint. In a go. I mean, since he's using the uh, uh, the oils or whatever, the oil paint, that might be kind of part of it. I mean, if anything, I guess this is giving it a very interesting, um, man, these were cheap, cheap brushes. But that's also kind of why I bought them. It's, they were cheap and it's a good selection. But I guess what we're really going to be adding here is sort of a uh, silver lining to our uh, storm, which is fine. Not to mention who knows how much of this is going to end up being covered up by the time we're done. I think that's helped thin it out a little bit. I think what I'm going to have to do is probably not go in with a, a dry um, brush and try to go in with a little bit, a little bit of water on the brush to help thin out what I'm picking up. I think. Whoop. How did that happen? There we go. We need you to stay. We need to just stay open. Kickstand. Kickstand is not enjoying its life right now for some reason, which is unfortunate. Yeah. There we go. Here's my previous message. Uh, I just repeat it here since your hands might be f too full to look back. My mom buys a lot of meat from local farmers slash farmers market specialty stores, and I'm not sure which is which is was from this one. Oh. I did miss that. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I mean, uh, she just got it from a local farm, I assume, or maybe a farmer's market slash specialty store. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, most places you're getting it from are, I mean, it's it's hard to mess up a steak, uh, like, raw meat, unless they did something to it, like, contaminated it somehow. But otherwise, they uh, should it's be fine. Like a nice little shiny spot there, like, like that's where our light's coming from. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. You play That's with fine. opaque and transparent color, and you can make all kinds of gorgeous effects. There. I like that. I'm gonna take the this is amazing how easy he makes all this look. Touch, least little touch of the bright red. Ooh, he's going with the bright red. Okay, now he's mentioned that with this bright red thing, you've got to be very careful. He mentions that bright red will 100% take over your... Uh, you're painting, so you have to be very careful with it. I'm going to put it next to the white on my uh, palette here so that uh, we can go very light with it. And uh, hopefully it, uh, it's fine. So we're going to get that a little wet. We're going to just go very light with it, and we're putting it down on the edges there for the you know that nice... That nice uh, um, red, uh, red sun at night, surfer's delight sort of uh, thing, I think, is what we're going for here. I 
God, look at that. I mean, I am barely dabbing that in, and it's just absolutely so heavy. I guess I think I probably should have just mixed it with a little bit of water, uh, a little bit of white. Make it a little more pink. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what I needed to do. I needed to mix it with just a little bit of white. I mean, look at how much it stretches out, though. Look at it. It's just, it's just overwhelming everything. I'm just barely applying it, too. Yeah, definitely got to figure out his technique for, uh, technique for making things so thin. I don't know if it's the wrong kind of paint or what, but definitely figuring out how to thin it out like he does. Maybe it's the right kind of brush. Uh, just just kind of dabbing in a little bit of white to make this a little bit more pink. I need just a dab, dab of white here. Luckily, clouds are white, so it, 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 you can blend it in okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay. All right. All right. Let's give that a shot and see how that comes out. Now, I've got two bowls of water here. I've got a little one and a big one. I didn't know how much water I was going to need for keeping these brushes clean and whatnot. Several times because bright red is a very strong... Now, obviously, if you're watching along here, he, his, his red is so thin. I don't know how he's doing it. It's got to be the effect of the clear coat that I didn't apply is really helping him thin out this this color. But I think mixing it with a, a little bit of water in the white kind of help trim down on the red a little bit. It's okay. We'll see how it turns out. But well, I'm just sort of jumping around from place to place here. Put in a few little. So, Ica, what are you up to then? You doing some uh, uh, under rail or what? A little lavender color. I want some lavender for that. Okay, so he's gonna make some lavender. He's gonna mix his blue and he's gonna mix his red. Many and he's making some some purple here for us. That blue is strong. Crimson is if I remember right, this he was doing with a um, just looks fan strong. brush. So you take a little white and put with some and say. Oh, he's mixing a little white like in to kind of turn it a little more blue. I'll change it. I'll put a little more crimson in it. Now I don't have a putty knife, we can but. Change it any way we want it. Now I like that better. It's a little more to the reddish side. And that's what I'm looking for. Because it sort of goes along with what we have up here. So, okay, then I think he goes with the... Take a little, oh, no, 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 he's starting actually with the blender brush. A little blue up here. Oh, he's starting at the top and doing the blender brush with the blue to kind of give it more of a sky on the top there. Very small amount. Just gonna Interesting. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Just a little. Okay, let's get our uh, blue open. It. I know I'm missing something when, in regards to how he's pulling this off. It's got to be that blue. The the clear coating underneath is what's making this uh, so so light like he's doing. That or I got to figure out uh, some way with like water or something to have the same effect. I don't know. Any art experts out there watching right now? You got what? A few viewers. A couple people. Why doesn't this want to come off? Set that down for a second. There we go. Easy enough. Let's see. I'm still just eating. I eat very steak very, very slowly. Uh, you like to savor it? 
Or you just, like, the chewiness wears at your jaw. Because it could be both. It could be both. I'm also happy I went with a little bit darker blue. His is a very bright blue, but the latter, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of the reason as a kid I didn't like steak, because it was always kind of chewy. I found out later it's just because, you know, we were getting cheap steak that wasn't the best. But you can also, it, it's weird because also like an organic steak can also be very chewy, even though it's a very high quality steak. It's so weird. Steak is very odd. All right. It's a little bit of the blue. And he's leaving that on pretty flat. Maybe a little, a little, a little white in it. Just uh, lighten it up a bit, but... I'm definitely going with a lot, a light, uh, uh, a little bit lighter blue than he has. It looks like he's going kind of just across the top with it here. Oh yeah, but he's got a his blue is really really on there intensely. Yeah, he definitely went with a, a much uh, brighter blue. So we're going to have a brighter red, but we're going to have a lighter blue. I don't know if that's going to make it look uh, apoc apocalyptical or whatever, but who knows? Hard to say. This is like the first one he's really applied that looks like he's actually attempting to apply paint without having like layers to it. Yeah. I just want to kind of figure out his percentage of blue. And we create some gorgeous effects, but I don't know. I think the amount of blue, the amount we covered with blue is about right. I guess what I could do is maybe mix it with a little bit of black. Be careful that it doesn't hit that yellow and turn bright green. He says, "Don't, don't let it hit the yellow and turn uh, green, which we don't want that." Want enough to give it a little bluish hint. Yeah. So maybe we would actually want to put a little bit of, um, just a little. Right. Blue and black up on the what very top. Lavender color we made. Tap a little into the bristles. And maybe in our world, okay. there's a happy little cloud. Okay, so now he's starting with the purple. We'll hang on there for a second. I guess back in the day, you would probably have to just kind of keep up with him. Or maybe catch a rerun. But that's also why I said this is going to take me probably an hour for his 20 minutes. Okay. And he did just a, just a smidge of like a darker blue. Got to have fast hands. Well, it's not even about fast hands. It's like, you know, understanding what you're doing here a bit. Well, that's probably too much black, but that's okay. It's not really the right color. Hmm. Yeah, they ended up just making it kind of gray. I don't think I've got the right kind of blue for this. I don't know if I really want to touch it. Hmm. It's interesting. I was in a savers today looking at things. 
And then I went to a Walmart afterwards to pick up some other things that they didn't have at the Savers. Um, and it turns out Savers is good about certain things. Like clothes you can kind of get a decent sale on sometime. But like some of their kitchenware and stuff is like I could go to Walmart and get a brand new one of these for half the price. All right. So like I wanted, hmm. I wish I could get the blue a little darker, but it's just turning to a gray. I think I just have the wrong kind of blue. I just don't think I'm going to be able to get that kind of blue. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work out. I could I could do the darker, a little bit darker blue, but I'm not going to be able to lighten it up like I was hoping. For all you art experts out there, I'm sure you're like laughing like you're not going to be able to turn that blue into his blue. But we tried, everybody. We tried. That's what's important. So now he's going on to this purple. And this purple he did with the fan brush, right? Let's see. Well, you know, I don't know. Just a little. All right. Now, going back to that lavender color. Stores are weird? Yeah. Yeah. Especially those secondhand stores and stuff. And maybe an early it's interesting some of the pricing. Oh, he's really doing this with just has a, good time right here. a blender brush. Really? Cloud. Oh. Hmm. Just using the top corner of the two-inch brush. Top corner only. Wait, what did he say there? Oh, that floats around. Has a good, good time, time right there. there. Just a little cloud. Just a little cloud here. Here it comes. Here it comes. Just, using the top Just using the top corner of the two-inch brush. Corner of the two-inch brush. Okay, so he's using top a two-inch brush for this. Yep. Hmm. Man, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that kind of... And we can try it. We can try it. Now, what I'm curious about is if I'm going to be able to get this shade of purple. I was contemplating on whether or not I should pick up a uh, um, the little paint paint tool that you use to kind of mix your paints around. I wasn't sure. Because I just realized I don't really have anything to blend the paint beforehand. Hmm, that might not interfere with it. I guess we can just use a brush that I'm not probably going to need for this. Oh, that purple's coming in a little bit. I think I probably wouldn't have been better off maybe trying to mix these in cups, but. Okay. Actually, I think we were able to kind of pull off a little bit of purple. I think we were able to pull off a little bit of purple. He's just kind of doing broad strokes with it, huh? Okay. Yeah. Another problem with this is, you know, your sizes, right? Like, it's 
This is kind of doing it where the blue meets the yellow. Some of this hand technique for this too. I'm not going to have the intricate clouds like he does. side has no paint on it see I flip the brush starts kind of blending it blend out this cloud that's my problem is I don't have a good way to blend it I guess I mean I guess I could try what, what he's saying but I have no idea what this is gonna do so everyone strap in that well blended to me only thing I can think of is maybe I'm using too much water and not drying the brushes off enough maybe they need to be like super super dry hopefully this is mildly interesting everybody Maybe that's the problem. I need to let the paint dry a little bit more. It might just be I need to, like, make sure the brushes are just very dry before I use them. In my mind, the way he describes, like, a, blend a blender brush is very similar to what this one is. Where it's got like the rounded top on it, more so than a flat top, but let me make sure that's nice and dry. And I'm basically just sitting on a dry towel. So all I have to do is kind of reach down and use the towel beneath me to dry off the brushes. So no, I'm not rubbing this on my pants or something strange. There's just a towel I'm sitting on. Actually, you know what? That's actually not too bad. Okay, okay. Now, obviously, mine doesn't look like his, but for for now, we'll we'll be okay with it. I think. Like I said, I, I didn't know how long this is gonna take. We're at about an hour now, so we'll probably just be doing this one with the base of it just that easy there maybe there's even a little okay so then he does another one a little further down there we go a very kind of thin thin one like a down pat maneuver there all right you're gonna have all kinds of beautiful little and then he just blends it right in with the same brush i don't know how he does it some technique I'm not understanding there for sure. Let's see, so I got another brush I can use for this. Let's see. Okay, there's my fan brush. Okay, what I do is I keep this one for blending and then I'll use the this other kind of bigger one for the actual applying. Hmm. Let's see. I mean maybe it's just I have cheap brushes and they just don't like doing this kind of work. 
All right, so then he just kind of the down, and then he uses that other brush to kind of blend it, right? So. Clouds don't have uh, straight lines, it turns out. Earlier today, I was watching a nativity of a guy beating salt and sanctuary potatoes only. What does that mean? What is potatoes only? You're going to have to elaborate on that one, Ica. I don't know what potatoes only means. Is it like throwing potatoes only or what? But is throwing potatoes an option? Potatoes are a projectable throw item in salt. Why would you throw a potato as a weapon? Is it a joke or is it like something where there's certain enemies who are like allergic to potatoes? So if you throw them at, they will throw potatoes at them, they just die instantly or something. I'm, I, I'm definitely going to need to figure out the blending thing a little bit more. But outside of that, I think I, I'm getting the hang of it a little bit. Obviously, it's not going to look like anything like his, but that's art. Back to a little blender brush. This blender brush is so soft, tender. You could go right over all this without blending it all together. I mean, I guess that's the point is you want it thin so the colors underneath kind of show through. Little cloud there. Now, because of the angle of the camera here, it may not look... So you have the hints of the clouds, all that blurring so together? So it... Hmm. All right, well, I'm not going to play with it too much more. Can't salt your potatoes. Got to save that for levels. Only good use then is to throw it. So are you making a salt and sanctuary joke by saying you can't salt your potatoes, so you might as well just throw them? Is that what you're telling me right now? Is that what I'm to understand about this situation? What happens if you do salt them? Do they do extra damage? Or can you not salt them at all, so you might as well throw them? Because if you can salt the potatoes for maximum damage, that sounds like you should load up a, a potato with enough salt for a full level and then turn it into a missile. That's an option. That sounds like a, an option to me. Yeah, I mean, mine's definitely not as nice looking as his, but let's keep moving on. It must be the clear coat thing probably helps with this. Fan brush. Okay, now he's got the fan brush out. Now he's making a little bit, a little bit different cloud. That easy. Back to our little blender brush. And then blender brushing it again. Very lightly, you can go right in here and blend it. Okay. You can spend salt on melee attacks, but not ranged ones, since you can't put that weapon charm. Onto ranged weapons slash throwables. Oh. 
Can you get a charm that enhances throwing weapons at least? Okay, so now he's doing the... He wants to use the, the, the fan brush, as it were. Maybe. In our world. Nope, there's not even a, an enhanced range attack uh, charm. What did he say? Sort of doesn't look quite right there. Maybe in our world. Maybe in our world. Let's take a little. Let's take a little. I use a little fan brush. Use a fan brush because it's a little more detailed. We'll put a little little cloud right over. A little light cloud over here. Just a happy little cloud. That easy. I swear I don't understand the technique for that, but. Very lightly. And then he lightly blends it again. Go right in here and blend. The light blending. Okay, so we can do a little one. He wants a tiny. Yeah, this acrylic is drying fast, unfortunately. Oh yeah, like that's not even... I don't even know there's enough paint on that. I'm gonna have to won't make a little more purple. Can only put charms on melee weapons, and they do all stuff to directly impact that melee weapon. There is a gun sword, though, so maybe it'll work on that and only that, but I don't know. Okay, fair. That makes sense to me, I think. This one ended up a little different shade of purple, but still purple. I really don't want to play with the purples too much here and get too much in the way of the cloud stuff going on. That's fine. Let's see if we can't blend it. Blend it. So so it sounds like what it ha needs to happen, Nick, is that you need to do a um, gun sword only run and see what um, uh, tal or, uh, charms affect it and which ones don't. All right. Um, let's try to blend again, shall we? Let's try blending again. Well, I did think I'm putting too much paint. Nah, guns are OP, and I don't want to do anything. I want to do something more challenging next playthrough. Oh. Well, is there, can you do the carrot stabbing technique? Where you stab people with carrots only? Is that an option? It's dagger stab, carrot dagger only option? Like you have to use a, a frozen spell to refreeze the carrot to make it start hard enough to stab with? So you also have to have enough MP to constantly be, no carrots? Zero out of 10. Sorry, Ika. Sorry, Ika. Zero out of ten. Yeah, see, this just starts. See, then you start losing all the, the nuances of the cloud. I don't know. I don't get the blending. I don't know if it's a clear coat thing or if it's a... Uh, I'm using too much... Water or something? I don't know. Yeah, look at how thinned out this just ended up being. I'm just gonna, gonna transfer some of this paint, I guess, over. Put a little bit more back into this. Try to even it out. Definitely something I don't understand about the blending techniques, so. 
Especially when it comes to the whole, like... I mean, maybe it's the technique of, like, I need to really just go back and forth with it? That's where the blending actually happens, and then these lights... No, because he's doing, like, full arm movement blending strokes with it. So I don't think it's that. Okay, That's probably enough clouds anyway. Fair. Is there a dream 0 out of 10 for not letting you frog or fry gauche? Exactly. You give me a fruit that turns stuff into frogs and then most things I can't even feed the fruit to? 0 out of 10. I don't know. If I ever win one of these billion dollar uh, lottery tickets, I'll just buy, uh, I'll, I'll get a uh, industry... Uh, uh, what do you... Uh, a programming uh, company and have them make us uh, Azura's Dream 2, the unofficial sequel. And then you'll just be able to frogify everybody. What we'll do is we'll blend um, Stardew Valley with Azura's Dream. Like instead of going down into the uh, mines and fighting stuff, you'll be going up into the tower. Um, and then your great great grandfather was the character from the original one. Put frog juice in the well. Yeah, and you can do really crazy, nonsensical stuff like that. So everyone just gets annoyed with you for, like, term permanently or, like, I'm not, not permanently, temporarily uh, contaminating the well, and you can only do it once just to mess with everybody. Okay. Let's see the rest of his, his clouds, his floating clouds. Okay. And I think that's basically all we're going to do for that. Okay, good. He's, he's done with the clouds. All right, as I say, stay low green and stay low blue. And we just bring it right up to the horizon there. Okay, so it looks like he's mixing his green and his blue. However, and he's kind of doing the edge of the uh, uh, um, right over that. It doesn't matter horizon the there. Touch of it, but it brings that horizon right together. Okay, well, we can do that. Okay. At some point, I'm probably going to have to put frog juice. We in the well the same way as we wash the other brushes. yeah yeah that's how you contaminate the well is you put the frog oh frog juice in the well yeah 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 but yeah you mix a uh, stardew valley with azura with the uh, azura's dream and then the tower is like you you inherit your great great grandfather's farm at the base of the tower and now you can start growing the weird fruits from the that you find in the tower and then eventually there's going to be some kind of festival like a uh, uh um, what do you call it like April Fool's Day prank festival, and you get the best prank by ha if you have a, a like two hundred frog fruit, you can turn it into juice and poison the well that everyone uses at the festival, and they all get turned into the frogs, and you win that year's prank festival. You get what I'm saying? Does that make sense? To me, that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody else. Then everyone dies because you then because then must start appearing in town and everyone's just a frog. Well, in your version, yes, Ika. I mean, maybe if you want, we could make it that that's some kind of lore on why part of the town is what you're like, why your grandfather was the only one living in this town. Then the protag gets massive PTSD character building. <laughs> okay, that's definitely the Ika version of uh, Azura's Dream Two: uh, Stars in the Valley. All right, so we're blending some green and some blue, are we? Yeah, hopefully we can get this done. I swear I'm not an elk. Welcome. Is Ika's granddad a frog? Is that what I heard? Well, he he would write a story where he has he's able to turn his grandfather into a, a frog, but his his grandfather is not a currently a frog. But welcome. I swear I'm not an elk. It's been a little while. How are you doing? I know you were super busy. How how did your uh, your uh, your uh, essay or whatever you were working on turn out? I've been meaning to ask about that. And I assume your trip your uh, train ride went well. You're not like. <laughs> Would you like me to kiss your grandfather? Well, his grandfather might like you to kiss him. I mean, he's got some train ride didn't kill me. That's good. Um. But, I mean, he's got some Japanese heritage, so I'm sure if he, they could do the, uh, um, like, the the cheeky old man of the village kind of thing from, you know, half of anime, and he would love a kiss from a, a, a beautiful young lady. I don't, I don't understand that trope, by the way. Okay. 
So we need a little bit of a little bit of the the blue. Just a smidge of the blue. But uh, I swear I'm not an elk. What about you? Are you an artistical type? It, yeah, I'd like to kiss your anime frog grandfather. See, there we go. What a lovely chat we have. Fortunately, one of my grandfathers is dead, and the other lives in the in a desert. So if he becomes a frog, he'd probably die. There's you know, no, 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 no. There are de desert tortoises. That's completely a thing, Ika. Hundred percent a thing. In fact, on what was it? Tuesday, I think we actually ran into one out in the desert. Hundred percent a thing. A hundred percent a th a real life thing that happens. Desert frogs. <laughs> I have the artistic skill of a limbless toddler. Well, I mean, so you're on par with me then. That's good. And I have, you know, there's video evidence of my inability to paint. Hmm. Yeah, these, this blue and green is not, not going together well. I guess I should have gotten with a darker blue. Unfortunate. I mean, I just throw a dab of uh, black into it and hope for the best. Aren't they toads? Or maybe I'm getting them mixed up. I mean, come, what's the difference? Come on now. Come on now. Desert frogs are just toads? Come on. Same difference. Basically. Toxic Lullaby, welcome! We're trying to make a, a different kind of blue. Turns out the blue I got is, is far too uh, mellow. We need a bright blue. Who knew? Yeah, this is just turning into a gray. Maybe I need to mix it with a white? Hmm, it's unfortunate. I swear I'm not an elk. Lick them, huh? Well, let me let me okay that. Oh, I was modded. Yeah, the Autobot got you. Give me just a second. Hello? Uh, okay. Uh, I guess it's both according to my Google search, but I thought it would have just been toads since toads have dry skin and frogs need wet skin. Uh... Just, just gotta lick them real good. Uh, I'm not licking any toads. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Let me see how he's doing this. This blue. Scott, because I want to spend more time. This blue green. I'm gonna have to go wash this off. What? No toad licking? I mean, you can do it recreational for you know drug reasons. It's not. It's not a weird. It's not a. It's not a fornication thing. However, yeah, I just don't have that kind of blue. And blend right over it. And it doesn't mm. matter if it picks up a little touch of it. But it brings that I mean, I can lean into the green a bit, but I don't want it like a dirty, wash toxic ocean. Draw. We wash it the same way as we wash the other brushes. See, this is another it's process I haven't figured out. Feet. All right, you dry it on a paper towel. Now, maybe in our world. But yeah, how did your? Uh, I swear I'm not an elk. How'd your essay turn out? I'm happy your 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 uh, training trip went well, but how'd the essay go? Take a little blender and blend right over. Still don't understand blending, but that's okay. Stay a little green. Waiting on results. Still, it feels like it's been like two weeks. Bring it right up to the horizon there. Oh, about like that. No big deal. However, take a little blender and blend right over it. It doesn't matter if it picks up a little touch of it. Mm, I mean, that helped a little it bit. Brings that horizon right together. There. Looks, Looks more like a swamp nice green than it does draw. ocean blue green. We wash it the same way as we wash the other brushes. Yeah, I definitely do not have the right color blue. It's not near as much fun. To I need beat. something brighter. All right, it's right on a paper towel. Now maybe in our world. I guess we'll have to work with what we got, though. I'll tell you what. 
Let's see. Maybe we'll try one more thing. That's nothing? If you mix too much blue and green, you'll get a teal color. Yeah. The problem is I'm trying to figure out how to do a, light, a slightly lighter, brighter blue. Because the one, one I've got is... Uh, it's a little, it's not quite right. Yeah, sort of a pinkish. So I'm just doing some color throwing together right now to practice some stuff. We'll grab us a fan brush here. See what happens when I mix some white in with it. One. Get the old fan brush. But it, and I swear I'm not an elk. What do you mean that's nothing? Like time wise, it usually takes a couple of weeks for reviews and stuff to get done. We're just doing some uh, color crafting right now, everybody. Just a little, little color crafting. Man, these brushes hold the water. Yeah, I, honestly, even teal, I think, would be better. Like, I just need a brighter color. I think I went with too many, like... Actually, we might be able to get something out of this. Okay, you know what? I think this might work, actually. Okay, I think that might be something. Put that there. Use this one. Maybe put a dab of purple that mix then mix together. some white possibly. Like that. That's pretty good. Okay, hold on. I need to figure out how he did this blue. I think he just kinda did a downstroke and then blended it, right? Let's take a little I use a little okay, paint that's for the a little more cloud. Paint. Very light. Cloud just a little uh -huh, uh -huh. blending, more. blending. Alright, as I say, stay a little green. And the Thalo was one of the ones I had a hard time finding. Right up to the horizon. Okay, so he just kind of did a back and forth on it. Okay. It's going to look very different, but that's okay. It's going to be a much more muted blue-green. Just was doing kind of downstrokes, right? Assuming the blending helps get kind of get rid of some of that hard edge on it. Which is fine. I just don't know how to do it without losing so much of the color. Oh, but I swear I'm not an elk. Did you see that uh, I actually finished up Elden Ring? I don't know if you've been over to the uh, the backlog, but also over the YouTube repository, Raven Hillbrook Inc. over there. We've also got uh, the, that uh, uploaded, I believe, now. I definitely got to look up a good blending technique. We just blend this in, I think, and we'll be okay. 
it was uh it was quite a fight there at the end i think the biggest issue i had was melania I, i'm i'm not a fan of her i feel like they they missed some cues on her her fight that could have made things a little better I know everyone kind of dislikes her. And then, of course, you know, you got your, your super hardcore guys who are just like, yeah, it's super easy. I don't know why anyone has a problem with it. It's like, well, there's some problems there. That's why. Hey, let's try a blend. I don't know. I still don't understand how to blend, but. Okay, that feels pretty dry. it's so hard that the uh, canvas is moving on me a little bit. Yeah, I definitely am not going to have the clean lines like he does, but that's okay. All right. So we got some blue in there. Not as nice as his, but uh, we're, de we're definitely dealing in different shades than he is. Mine's definitely going to be l much more abstract than his is. Melania? Yeah, Melania? Yeah, I didn't care for that fight. I've, I, in fact, I actually, I take that back. I liked every aspect of that fight. Oh, you want an ad read for Melania? Huh. Yep. Okay. I wasn't planning on doing that in the middle of this stream. All right. Well, you got me. Good for you. <sighs> Let's see. Now is it... Hmm. Now, are Melania and... um. What's her... Are her and her brother twins... Are they just siblings? I just I need a couple of clarifications so I know. And then are they orphans? Because I've read somewhere, like I've seen some highlights. You're willing to say yes for this ad? Okay, that they are twins. All right. Um. Ad read. Okay, and then um let's see. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's see. This is a totally different mindset for me here. Um About five o'clock. Okay, that gives me still about another two hours. All right, so let's see, she has anime powers. She has a, a twin brother who she all who's also a little boy. She, you also want to you want to choke her, but you also want her to choke you because she's so big. Hmm. Okay, okay, I think I've got this one. Willing to wait till later if you like. No, 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 we'll do it now. We'll do it now. This is my, this is just isn't where my brain was at in the moment. Um, let's see. All right, I think I got this. I think I got this one. It's not going to be my best one, but I think I got something here. <clears throat> okay. 
<laughs> Chang Marai, welcome. You got some good timing here. I'm in the middle. I got to do an ad read. Give me one second. Are you living in the lands between? Are you seeing the outbreak of violence across your great land? Do you need a bodyguard who can take down literal gods and not even be injured? You need Melania. She is easily the best, strongest, undefeated hero of the lands between. Not only is she a great warrior proven by her never have lost in a battle ever. She's also doing it with one arm. Now fair, fair you might say, but she looks like she has two arms. That's because her other arm is literally literally a weapon it's built to be a weapon and it, you can't say she's not loyal she's loved her twin brother who's also a child for years and willing to take care of him while he's in a slumber so not only are you getting an undefeatable warrior you're also getting a very passionate caring person that's right you need millennia security in the lands between brought to you by radon uh um uh, supplies and uh, necessities. Sign up today. Get in on the ground floor of Melania uh, bodyguard work. Brought to you by Radon. I'd buy a Melania? Exactly. There's no reason not to buy a Melania. She's super overpowered and super capable. Buy the Melania today. Have your own personal Melania delivered to your own home. And that's canonical. There are multiple of her. She has multiple aspects that are wandering in the world causing trouble. That means everyone could have their own copy of Melania, mostly. B brought to you by Radon Industries. <clears throat> All right, let us continue on with this now that I've got my blue in place. But Jing Marai, welcome. I'm hoping you're having a good, uh, what is it, Sunday morning for you? Hopefully you slept well. You've got, a, what, a couple of days here left before you start your new job? Or was that this past Wednesday? I don't remember now. Yes, you're blending it in. I know, I can't blend. Listen here, Afro Afro painter man. I cannot blend. Except it's not near as much fun to beat. This Wednesday, okay. Yes, yeah, so you've got a few more days to kind of relax, and then you're uh, off on your brand new job. Tell you what, move that over there. Okay, so what are we doing now? Oh, we're moving into the dark sienna, and red and white. What are we making? Part of it, I'm gonna put a lot of white in. Part of it a lot of white in. in. We want it lighter than the other. There, it's sort of a pinkish. Here okay, a pinkish red. Okay, okay. We'll grab us a fan brush here. Ooh, we're doing a fan brush. That didn't work so well for us last time, but maybe that'll change. The old fan brush. Yeah, I don't really like these these uh, brushes much. They they're really ill defined. Like they bunch up too much. Push upward, and I'm starting right into the lightest area. Oh, in line with the light. With okay, well, a little that late for that. So, what is he making here? Now, then. now I'm going into the darker part of the same color, and begin letting that get darker and darker. Okay, I think he's making like another island in this this area. Both directions. Talks about well, you're blending just fine. I don't think so. I feel like I'm not. Maybe they sort of work that together. Darker and darker and darker. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so I think he's making... Dark, dark. Okay, yes. He's making like another island that we're seeing in the distance. Okay, so it, it mostly wants to float just above the water line. But it can go up in the air a little bit. Well, we kind of don't want it into that cloud. Maybe we don't go quite into the cloud? This will make a beautiful gift. Okay, so we want kind of two shades. We want a little bit lighter pinker shade brown, and then we want a little bit darker brown. Okay. A little darker. Yeah. Full of color. All right. Let's go up in here. Let's go in there. So he's really loading this one up. Comes right out here. Take the fan brush and we push upward. Up and down. Starting right into the lightest area. With my Starting in the middle, underneath the light. We can actually do that. Okay. Right there. Should be a lot more island in mind than I think his is going to have island. Going but that's all right. Part. Right, let's get this dark sienna open. Begin letting that get dark. Mine is a uh, oh, that's a crimson. That's not what I need. I don't think we've done crimson yet. Where is this the dark sienna? Each time. Where is my? Well, that's black. 
darker and darker. Can I darker. put what we're looking for? Oh, here's the bird sienna. Okay. Down here at the base. Making some Avatar, Avatar Sky Islands. Uh, we're not. No, no, we'll get the water in there. Don't worry. Very dark. Okay, so we wanted, we wanted the burnt sienna, or Plus dark sienna, I think he used. Time. And then he wanted that mixed with red and white to make a pink, right? Like a little blender off. We washed it the same way as we washed, way as other, washed other brushes. Uh huh. Except it's not near as much fun to beat. <laughs> All right, let me dry it on a paper towel. On a paper towel. Now, maybe in our world. Tell you okay, what. so now we do. That over there. I'm gonna get some dark sienna. Some dark sienna. Red. And some white. Bright red. Let's mix those together. And some white. Like okay. Okay. We can we can mix those up. We can mix those up. Okay. So dark sienna. I'm gonna have to go clean my palette off here in a second. So dark sienna. Bright red. But uh, Chang Marai, what about you? Are you the artist type? I know you've seen a lot of, you, you've done a lot of jobs. Are you an artist type? And talk to the lullaby. It sounds like you do some art arting also. Yeah, I swear I'm not enough. Did, so did you end up checking out my uh, um, my finale there or not? I, I hammed, I 100% cheese hammed the uh, Melania fight. That I will say. Yeah, it looks like a Thousand Island, like, secret sauce. Might need to add a little, like, black to kind of make it a little blacker once we get to the... We get to that part, but... Oh, I used to excel that in high school. Oh, there we go. Yes, I do. Okay, fantastic. So we do have some art people here to critique me, roughly. So you did some art back in high school? Did you have a style or preference of like, you know, charcoaling or painting or, you know, portraits or characters or what? What's your style there, uh, Chang Marai? Okay, right, let's try this again. I really don't like the way that this, this brush, they just bind up too much. It's kind of strange. Okay, so, and he was just doing... Part of it, I'm gonna put a lot of kind white of a, in. Just a dab little stroke thing. on there to put this on. I mean, real light, and then, yeah, then, then he added a little more dark, and then it got a little darker as he goes along. A little dark, 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 dark. Down here. Very, Further, very closer to the water and away from the the the. This will make a. The light source. Mine was in pencil. Oh, okay. Okay, so. this up and do some islanding eh so he does it kind of on top of the water right and like that This one's coming out a little better than the last one we tried with the fan brush. I think it was something to do with these bristles. I guess I needed to, like, stretch these bristles out a little bit more or something before we started this. Okay. Actually, I can probably leave that on there. Let me just dab a little black into it just to, just to make it a little darker. I've dabbled in a few different art medias. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, we'll blend that in. After this, I'm probably gonna have to go uh, wash my palette off. I'm kind of 
approaching lack of, of palette space here. Oh, that actually made it very black. That's probably blacker than it needs to be, actually. Probably should have gone a little lighter on the black. That's unfortunate. Okay. I didn't even think I put that much in there, but... more brown back into it. So, I mean, brown is the primary color. We want the pink, but... Okay, that definitely has darkened it up a bit. I mean, pencil drawing probably would have been the smart thing for me to start with, but who doesn't want to just, you know, get right into the Bob Ross? Okay, this is a little bit brighter. I think I can work with this. And then he basically does everything that isn't kind of meant to be facing the sun, right? Probably be a little pinker, but we're gonna we're gonna play around with it. That in. this so we want all of this cover it up we get that nice contrast of the light pink for the sun on that side whereas the darker stuff is on this side because it's in the shadow okay i think i'm gonna need to blend that bottom part a little bit just to kind of get it out of the water a smidge. Ooh, it also kind of is like lighting it up a little bit, which I'm actually okay with. It's a little darker than I really wanted. Oh yeah, that's, that's lighting up a little bit. Ooh, actually, I like that better. Hopefully, that's giving the effect of being shadowed. Hopefully. I mean, I can see what we're going for, I think, in this, but it's definitely not as good as his. Already can tell that much, but that's not surprising. Looking good? I, I disagree. I appreciate you, you, you patronizing me on this one, but I disagree. I don't think it's, it's turning out very good yet. I mean, maybe we will save it a little bit as we go on, and it'll all, overall the amount of wrong is going to out, you know, not outweigh the brow to right, but. All right, so what do we got up after the island? What's so nice? We know that the pains will be with us long after we're gone. Maybe. So this is actually working out about how I wanted it to. We're taking one stream to do one painting, and I wasn't, I wasn't sure how long it was going to take, but we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. Darker, so it stands out a little more. Sometimes you have to exaggerate color for television. Okay, so what is he doing now? He's doing... Okay, he's doing some, like, palm trees. Okay, so I'm going to have to use a real small, thin... Thin paintbrush for that. We're just looking for basic little shapes. 
just basic little shapes. We don't even know where Not bad for beginning. Okay, that that sounds like something a little bit more of a compliment than I'm willing to take. So he's just doing it with a darker color. I'm wondering if I want to throw a little, you know what I can do? I can use, a, there's a little bit of dark left in this. So he's just doing a little bit of foliage on this other island. That looks like a bunch of little palm trees far up on. And then you're basically just doing like kind of messy X's at the top of a stick. So he has a lot of palm trees there. Okay. There we go. All right. Mine aren't probably gonna be quite that big. Now we can get down here into the fun part. How's he this just kind of in the middle? Fresh. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go right into a very small amount of the titanium white. We don't need much. Just put some on the bristles. And let's begin figuring out where things are at. Let's have a big old crasher wave in here. And our crasher wave is going to live right about there. It'll come over and go right on off the canvas somewhere to help. Or see, there's where it's going to crash. Does that help? Like that. So that just sort of lays it out so you have an idea of where you're going. Sometimes it's hard to take. Okay, so he's moved on to. Oh, we're going to go into the white now. Okay, interesting. Let's grab the. Okay, so he went pretty light with the trees. I'm gonna go right into a very small amount. See, I can't get mine that thin. I'm using like the thinnest brush. I think I'm just pushing a little too hard. I think this one comes down to a lot more of the um, your uh, your technique. And I don't think my technique's very good for uh, like manipulating the brushes. All right, I think we're good for uh, trees and other random stuff on that other island. Now we're going into what? It looks like we're going into white. Yeah, definitely not mine. Mine is definitely much more uh, uh, relaxed on its edges. Mine does not have the precision of his. Like if you photocopied it, but like you changed the resolution and you put a lot of pixelation into it, and that's what mine looks like. Where things are at. Just have okay. a big old crasher. Like he's using another fan brush. And he's going sideways come over. to apply a the canvas somewhere to help this. See, there's where it's going to crash. Does that help? Sort of your wave effect. That just sort of lays it out so you have an idea of where okay. you're going. Sometimes it's hard to take a trip if you don't know where you're going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go wash off my palette and I'm going to be right back. Exaggerate.
this is that towel I was talking about that I was I've been sitting on to that I can just reach down and dry off the brushes. Just a nice big old towel. Nothing special, nothing fancy. Maintenance let me use their big sink to uh, wash this off. That way also probably so I'm not pouring paint or getting paint into the the sink of the, the main break room. Luckily this uh, isolated room is a little further away from the everything and a little closer to the maintenance stuff. So. Now we're moving on to the white. The white. All right. Okay. Great. I'm doing this. Only not near that big. Oh, Hell? commercial. Commercial ad. Right, How is everyone doing? Is this hopefully not the most boring stream you've ever watched? Come on. Okay, there we go. Drating grossly. Okay, let's let's see. Where is he going with this? Here, and our crasher wave is going to live. And he's using a very small amount of the titanium white. Titanium white. Just put some. Pretty much this. just on the bristles. Okay. Now let's begin figuring out where things are at. Let's have a big old crasher wave in here, and our crasher wave is going to live right about there. It'll come over. He's just doing these little light Let strokes. Into somewhere. To help, let's see. There's where it's going to crash. Does that help? Like that. Okay. That just sort of lays it out. So, you so we're back to, to the fan. It's hard to take the trip. Actually, I guess I don't really need to do the fan. I just need something I, hear. I can do with it's light, very, very I mean, light yeah. strokes. I'm not near that big. Okay. I'm exaggerating grossly there. It's just little so back and forth. Little, little back and forth. Little wave motions happening back there, far away. Now we're gonna putting some uh, oh, well, maybe there's another little wave. white into that that maybe longer range looking stuff there, eh? You just sort of outline them. It really helps you see where they live and, and how you want them how you want them to go. Okay. Something about like that. On to the on to the white. That color gorgeous, Let's see. Thalo blue and thalo green. Cool. Like yeah, he's just using a basic Dynamite. titanium white. One of the colors I was able to find. Dynamite. Just a basic titanium white. Over on this side, I want it to get very dark. There we go. Probably right. enough. I have several fan brushes going here, so I don't have to spend all my time washing them. I'm going to grab one and begin pulling that color back. I'm just going okay, so back he's to Okay, so he's getting the white, and then he's kind of pulling it out just to add the white to the light and the color and a little bit. We're more interested in the dark area, believe it or not, than we are the light area. It's the dark area here that's at our good friend. See those? how they just begin appearing? Then you come back with a little liner brush and put all the little highlights in there. And that's when it really, really and truly jumps right out at you. Mm, interesting. All right. So I'm wondering if the clear coating of what is kind of helping with some of this. Back into my... So the paints don't dry so fast? This is the fun part. Let's make the wave crash over. Start up here where you think Okay, so let's... Grab it and just give a little pull. Tiny little pull. Okay, so we're gonna be doing some some whites sideways here. Let me see if we can get a wide shot. Put a little more color on the brush. You may have to reload the brush several times, so this color stays pretty pure. You're picking up a little bit, but you don't want a whole bunch. You want it to be bright. This is gonna be your center of interest right here. Right there. Like that. Shh. Make those little noises, it helps. Remember, everyone, make the little noises, the little whoosh, water noises. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Little, little whoosh, whoosh, water noises. Are you making the little water noises? Is everyone at home making little water noises? What's great is that everyone's water noise is going to be a little different than everybody else's. Because that's how uh, sound interpretation works. Everyone's ears hear things a little differently. Your brains translate that a little differently. Everything's just a little, just a little different. Hmm. Maybe what I'm better off doing is I'm going to go with a small, thin brush. 
and kind of use it the way he's using the fan brush, but without it being so spread out. So he's starting about in the middle of the island, going all the way to the far side. Okay. I don't know how this is going to look with the black. I don't have that blue in there like he does, but we'll see what happens. Might just end up looking like a very dark ocean. Spooky. Dark water from the late 1990s cartoon era. Okay, so it's just kind of lines. Light lines. Whoosh. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Tuxa Globa. You got it. Whoosh. Whoosh. Little, little whoosh noises. Little, little whoosh. Whoosh noises. Oh, I really am so uncomfortable with this. I think I'm gonna have to hmm. see if we do the blue though it's gonna be very blue hmm. yeah maybe we're just gonna end up with a black ocean I've also done a self-portrait of Napoleon on his horse in paint that was hard yeah that sounds super hard yeah that sounds super hard Oh, there we go. That's a good shot. So then he pulls the it's a dynamite color. Dynamite. This only not near that. But I'll go burr. <laughs> Just makes my brain go burr. I would use a thicker brush, Raven. You think a thicker brush, really? So okay. Have little, little wave motions. Well, here. I did lose a brush in there. I mean, he's using such a thin brush. I mean, he's using a for the for the water effect. He's using a a fan brush. Isn't that color gorgeous? A phthalo blue and phthalo green. I like it. It's a dynamite color. Well, I don't have phthalo blue and green. On this side, I want to get very dark in comparison. Hmm. I have several fan brushes going here, so I don't have to spend all my time washing them. I'm going to grab one. Okay, so he's just doing a lot of, like, back. Oh, that's just a tense. Quick. See, like, this is what I'm talking about with the... Uh, Something like that. See there? I think I'm just getting too much interested in the dark in the area, believe it or not, than we are the light area. It's the dark area here that's at our good friend. See those, how they just begin appearing? Then you come back with a little liner brush and put all the little highlights in there. And that's when it really, really and truly jumps right out at you. All right. Something about like so. Back into my paint, titanium white. This is I do not light. like this Let's fan make the brush. Wave crash over. Oh, it's just... Up here where you think it lives. Like this fan brush does not want to maintain a fan brush shape. It keeps bunching up on me. Several times, so this color stays pretty pure. 
picking up a little damage. I don't want a whole bunch. I need to be. I just cannot get this. Center of interest right here. This white. Right there. I get it. Shh. Make those little noises. It helps. Let's grab a little filbert first. I'm gonna take a little white, a little cad yellow, mix them in the filbert, and right here, this is gonna be the eye of the wave or the transparency, or in technical terms, it's called the pretty part. There. We'll wipe the color off and reload it so it's nice and pure. But even that makes a beautiful color against that halo blue and green. Beautiful color. So just sort of let that wander right on down there out of the way. Now we take our little blender brush. Very soft. Very gentle. And we come right I'm going to turn this into kind of a wave. Just sort of use the corner of it and begin blending it. You can blend it until it's absolutely as smooth as silk. And there we go. Just wind it There's up. So little, I, Look at that. I feel like I'm using okay. so little paint. Blend it just so too much, much still you can do it somehow. With a two-inch brush, though. If you don't have a little blend, I feel like I'm barely brush. touching this. It's just not quite as smooth. Not quite as smooth. Yeah, okay. Back to my little filbert. I had a little lavender color, crimson and blue. I'm going to use that for the shadow color. Okay. All right, Bob, calm down for a second. Now Let's go back. Part. <laughs> Titanium white. Just going back with it. Yeah, see, he's like blending in the blue. Be very dark. I mean, that's what I can do here is blend in a little bit of blue with it. This I can do a very fine tip with because we're just blending this blue into the edges. I'm doing this kind of backwards. I should have done a bunch of blue down on the bottom and then. But we're going to blend a little blue in, I think. I'm trying to go light with this, but it just feels like I, I lightly load the brush and it just goes crazy. this is going to have a similar visual effect to the white wash of a, of a, of a of a, you know, cresting wave or whatever. This is not at all how he did it, by the way. Um, this is just me attempting to figure out something to have a very similar visual effect. Because he, what he did was a, a, a line, and then he used another um, another brush to pull that line down into the blue. But because I didn't realize I needed to set up the blue like that beforehand, that's not going to work. So I'm just going to do a kind of blend. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a a, bl a black ocean on this one.
speed painting is crazy. It's amazing how fast. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. But I've heard him say lavender blue and crimson. But mixed together. Ever seen those guys that do speed? Oh, yeah. Speed painting is insane. It's uh like there's that one older guy who teaches it. And he can paint like a full painting in like 30 seconds or something. Yeah, it's, it's a crazy talent to have. That's for sure. I mean, it's basically the photoing, like, the, the spirit of a photo, but with painting. It's, it's pretty impressive. saw that on i want to say the history channel or something and they like interviewed him and showed some of his stuff and he set like a world record or something like that One more wave here. I do this one a little thinner. It's a little further out. It hasn't really crested as much. Hopefully this is at least in the spirit of what he was going for. Since I don't have that undertone of blue to work with like he does. So after he does, so he starts blend, blending out these blues and the whites. And that's my problem is I don't have that undercoat of blue like he does. Why does that float away? Why? Why do you float away? So much paint.
All right. All right. This is still a little a little blurry over here. I don't really think there's much I can do about that. I think at this point I'm just Blur Official, welcome! Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Thank you, Blur Official. Sorry, I meant to let you know, but every time I got online you weren't online, so I'm like, well, I put the event out there. If it happens, it happens. I have to let fortune decide this one. Could they make room for the officer? No, I'm in a small supply area. Small supply room, as you can tell with the extra um oh. I guess you can't tell because we're zoomed in, but We're here in a supply closet deep in the building uh, over on floor two. Um, but hey, at least I can make a mess in here and no one would care. And we're next to the maintenance uh, 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 closet, so it's easy to go wait, w wash the pallet off when we get done. It's your birthday? It is, in fact, my birthday. That is the reason for the stream, or for the painting stream. Don't let your colleagues see that. What that I get? I'm in the working in this office. No, most of my colleagues just if they're if they're doing anything, they're just working at their computers, you know, in the in the main the main area. They they wouldn't want to live in this little work in this little storage room or whatever this you want to call this. All right, all right. I mean, I guess I should just be happy they let me come in and do this in the office at all, but. Looks good so far. Well, thank you. You're being way too kind, but thank you. Oh, I don't know. Does it, I think I have it in the description what episode we're doing. Congrats. How old am I? I am now 35. 35 years young, as it were. Oh, okay. We got that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. 35 years young. <laughs> Still a baby's. I'm just a wee, a wee, a wee little office worker trying to do a pie wing. All right, so he's he's in here doing his blending stuff. I mean, it's, that's that's it's not gonna look like his, but you know we're there. Okay, so what did he end up doing after the blending in to try to make waves with our super black ocean that I could not figure out how to blend the water at all? Let's make the wave crash over. <laughs> what is that emote? Oh, that's a floppy penguin emote? Is that supposed to be a little baby floppy penguin? Okay, so what are we doing with this one? We're doing... Oh, he's putting the, the little... He wants the actual uh, uh, crashing wave thing going on here. Okay, this one's going to be hard. Little baby Zane, yeah. I'm turning 45 in December. Oh, okay, so you are you got a good 10... What is that? A good 9 years and... and what, six months on me? It's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right. So next up, we're doing the little wave off the front. Now, you might be saying, oh, there's a lot of space between this wave and over here. Well, that's because we're going to end up putting, like, a rock in there. That I do remember. Unless I don't think I could do this at all. You're way ahead of me. <laughs> okay. I mean, are you trying to paint along at home then, Ika? Did you... You decide to get involved a little bit, or, or are you just, like, what do you, what do you mean? Because I'd love to see it. Once you get done, post it over in the art section. That's where mine's going to go. All right, so we're using the fan brush, and we're going to do a mix of blue and white to create that, that crest effect. Salt, thank you. What? No, I'm not even going to try. Oh, all right, well. All right, so we need a little blue and a little white. Which is fine. That's basically what we've got on here right now. But just a little bit more. I think I'm just applying too much paint to the palette. And then it's getting too painty on the brush. I think I should be using drops instead of globs. 
both of which are, I, I think, official metric, like measuring systems. Right? I mean, uh, uh, blur official, what are they? Salt E? It's a salty thank you. Well, I'm not, I'm not, it's not a bad thing. That's just more experience you've got over me. As we've, we've discussed, uh, Chang Mirai, we, you have lived the, uh, adventurous, interesting life. You've, you've, you've lived life like a true, uh, stereotypical Aussie and, and grabbed it by the horns and rode it around town. In front of all your mates to make them jealous of how awesome you are. All right. So he's just doing a, whoop, doing a little bit of a blur. Those I've done full circles. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, you know, do some burnouts on the bull in front of everybody, I'm down. Salty. I think that's what that's supposed to mean. Yeah, you do the salt and why, so someone's salty, which is you know, internet parlance for uh, angry or frustrated. So a salty thank you is a, a thank you, but with a little bit of a, a, a little bit of annoyed with it. And right here, this is gonna be that. So now he's doing a yellow. Okay, so he's doing a yellow blue to get a green to do the, the wave, eh? Okay, interesting. Okay, so he puts a circle like, no, not like a bring it around town circle. You know, I showed that video on how to do the bubble dance and... Uh, I got struck in certain countries on YouTube. Apparently, that is copyrighted material in certain countries, apparently. So, I, I, I got in trouble for the SpongeBob bring it around town uh, bubble dance. Cad yellow. Mix them on the filbert. And right here. This is going to be the eye of the wave or the train. Okay, so he's just going to do... Okay, so he doesn't even do too much craziness with it. Probably the music. Yeah, I mean, YouTube is notorious for being bad about music copyrights. So you want just... Like that. And then just kind of extend it angularly down. I really do not like this fan brush. This fan brush is, is upsetting me a bit. Like it refuses to hold the correct shape for a fan brush. It just, it gets so wobbly. Uh, let's see, wait, hold on, what did I see? My two potatoes. Lame, for 10 bucks. What is lame? Oh, I think she's talking about my, my fan brush is lame. Oh yeah, that reminds me, you should put in a sound bite for, we did it, Patrick, we saved the city. Oh, okay, that makes sense, I could see that one. That makes sense to me. See, I feel like I'm getting better results if I'm just using like a thin like detailing brush like this instead of a fan brush. Got in trouble for using, oh, for using the content from SpongeBob. Yeah, I mean, it's a famous thing. How many jobs I've done? Oh, 10, my two, wait, what? My two potatoes for 10 bucks? Raven, how many jobs I've done? He he he. Okay, wait, wait, what do you mean how many jobs you've done? <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, we it could, we could we could use a lot that a lot, but more in a, a statistical. A, I guess I guess in SpongeBob that line is also used in a, a satirical manner. I know you've done everything. We've talked about that. You've had a bajillion jobs, and you're great at all of them. You're not telling us anything we don't know already. I can also tell you that the worst job I've done. Okay, that would be interesting. Did you did did you dip your pota two potatoes in paint and put them on canvas? Probably don't get that. Lost in translate. That might be a yeah. That might be too much of a weird translation thing. Is it? I mean, what are are you talking about? Literal potatoes, or is this a figurative statement about something else that may or may not be potato shaped that traditionally only men have? Traditionally, men have. Not talking about all men or whatever, just traditionally men. Okay, so now we need a green. Well, I see. Okay, you're talking about a traditional uh, uh, man potato, a, eh? a. Eh? No, blur official. Blur official is a man, or at least you know you present as a man on stream. That that you are, you look like a very nice burly man with your your big beard and such. All right, so we're doing a green now. It helps. Let's grab a little filbert brush. I'm gonna take a little white, a little cad a yellow. A filbert brush. And right here. Now, now, I don't know about toxic, toxic lullaby. That could go either way. That's not a particularly masculine or particularly feminine uh, screen name. There. Okay, so now we're just doing a green and a blue, which is fine. Those are colors we have. Yeah, I don't think that's a stream that is definitely not going to be happening on Twitch if I decide to uh, potato uh, to paint up my both my potatoes and put them on a canvas. Oh, okay. So he's doing a, like a yellow and a uh, a green, a yellow and a green. Oh, okay. Let's grab a little filbert brush. I'm gonna take a little white, a little cad yellow, mix them on the filbert, and right here, this is gonna be the eye of the wave or the train. Oh, he's doing a yellow green. Oh, okay. We can do that. We could make it yellow green, sure. Just a little two squirts of green and a little squirt of yeller. Yeah, no, I, I would have to sign up for a different channel, a, a different website, if I wanted to put both my uh, painted potatoes on a canvas live on stream. That's a different channel all entirely than Twitch. I need a little bit more yellow. Just a swoop, whoop, whoop. One hundred percent female. All right, confirmed. Toxic lullaby is one hundred percent female. <laughs> Raymond Hill's <laughs> only fans book now. 
Oh god, that would be so weird. Nope. 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 Couldn't do that one on corporate dime. That'd be weird. Oh, okay. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think it's about right. Okay. So we're just doing a circle, and then it leads into... I got two eggs and one sausage with shredded cabbage and serve them to you. Oh, no. Technical terms, it's called... I don't even know where the shredded part. cabbage is coming from, but you keep that to yourself. Yeah. Wipe the color off and reload it. Okay, so we just kind of do it in the circle and then goes along the bottom. Oh, he's putting a little more yellow in it. Interesting. Kind of want to see where this ends up. And not, not you guys. I want to see where Bob Ross ends up with this. Yeah, we take our little blender brush. Very soft. Very gentle. And we come right in here. Oh, see, he's blending again. I can't, I'm not good at the blending thing. And begin blending that. You can blend it until it's absolutely as smooth as silk. I can't, I can't do it until it's smooth as silk. I don't know how to do that. Wind it up. My brain doesn't work that way, Bob. Bob Orosso? Okay, so he just, he's just doing a green up, and then he's blending it in together. Okay, well. Okay. Actually, it needs probably more yellow. Yeah, we need a little bit more yellow in that. It's fine. We can do that, though. I'm not good at blending colors, apparently, yet. I think I've maxed out the color capacity on this. Yes, Bob mocking me from heaven, looking down upon him, upon me, looking at this fool. Uh, mine's just acrylic. I, I went I went with some cheap stuff. I'm I I is not fancy. A little more blue, but I think that's actually not bad. I think we're going to recover okay. Worst job I've done in, in hospitality from dishwasher to service as a chef. So from from dishwasher to serve to chef. Yeah. Uh, working in uh, the food industry is not... Uh, the hospitality industry like that is not fun. That was my first job ever. Was, uh, was a waiter at a Waffle House. Um, yeah, can, can confirm, not my, uh, favorite job. Wasn't the worst, I guess, thing I've ever had to do, but just, you know, it's a little too much. That just needs more yellow. It's just not bright enough. Like I, I don't think I needed much green. I think it just needs to be blue and yellow mostly. Dries quick. It's just 
getting all over the place now. So, like, was that one of your earliest jobs, or? Just making a mess of it now, I think. Okay, no problem. Worst civil construction job I've done for general labor to cables haulage. Cables haulage. Sounds like a funny word. Cables haulage. I don't like the way this green turned out. Oh yeah, hauling cable isn't easy. Well, I believe that. Two two jobs, McDonald's and working for a school district. Well, I mean, those are kind of the same thing. You're dealing with like probably loud, obnoxious people, right? I mean, depending on what job you had at the school. I mean, was it kids or were you mostly doing paperwork stuff? I mean, if it's kids, and then McDonald's and kids are kind of the same thing. They're going to get a lot of both. I guess you're going to get kids at both, and then you're also going to have whiny adults at both. So, yeah, McDonald's and school is very similar. how I want this blend here. Okay, that's a little bit more where I wanted it to be. Not not perfect, but that's better. I cannot I just can't like get this white to take the way I want it. Let's see. No. Oh, okay. Where I'm trying to get a job as a jumbo operator. Yeah, you're trying to get your license to uh, do like giant land moving vehicles and stuff, right? Where you have to have like multiple licenses. I was a bus aide for special needs, so I worked in transportation. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably a little different then. 
It's actually probably more demanding than your average like teacher stuff. That's a impressive impressive work, I would say overall. Can't get this white right. I don't know why. There we go, actually. I think that's a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. I keep playing with it. You can't get a license for that? For Jumbo, I mean? Oh, so what do you. Well, how does that work then? What do you. Because I know you've talked about you, you've been having to take your test to get certified for certain things. How does that work? Very different. It's quite different. Well, yeah, I mean. Yeah, I have to imagine the requirements for special needs transportation is going to be pretty different than like a teacher or an office worker. Or are you talking about compared to <laughs> Chiang Mirai? In, in which case, yeah, doing construction with giant land movers is not going to be anything even remotely close to the same as like. As a. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to like that, but whatever. We're trying here. It's We're trying. It was quite different, but very good job. Well, yeah. I mean, if, if you if you find that rewarding, that's awesome. I mean, it's it's definitely a special kind of person that can do that kind of job, right? Okay. So then what are we doing next? I mean, mostly right now, I've got about an hour left, and I mostly want to kind of work into getting, like, maybe the beach done. No, I was comparing classroom versus bus. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Classroom working is going to be very different than, like, a bus aid or whatever. I, told, I hold two high-risk licenses, one for forklift, the other for elevated work platform. Oh, okay, so a forklift and, like, a scissor lift sort of thing? Or a cherry picker, as we call them here in the States? Okay, so now he's making... I think this is the rock. Blue. Want to use that for the shadow color of the phone. Okay, so he's blending this in. Yeah, I really should have had the blue. Yes. Okay. Cool. Wow. So you have to have. No, no, you can't post. What did you get timed out for? No links. You got to watch your your period, your uh, your period linking there for the for that. Okay, so what is he doing? So he's always oh, blending like a rock in. Okay, and he used what colors for this? So he here he's blending the water with the with the yellow, which is fine. Oops, not posing. I know, but if you put a dot and then you put a the stuff too close together, it'll think it's a link and then it'll block you. And I've tried turning that off. It doesn't. It just won't listen to me anymore. Bob, I need you to... Okay, here we go. A little lavender and a little what? Okay. Add a little lavender color. Okay, add a little lavender color, crimson, and blue. That's okay. I'm going to use that for the shadow color of the foam here. Oh, okay. Plus truck, plus other certified for heights, confer confined spaces, etc., etc. So, so Australia just has a lot of requirements for certification purposes. Is that what I'm getting from all this? Really help. So he's doing a purple. What? Just not quite as smooth. I kind of want to just move on to doing. Yep. Uh, okay, so that's what it is. Little lavender color, crimson. I'm gonna use that for shadow color of the foam here. Make these little noises. They really help. 
I don't really help. Coming up here and turning and crashing. Just having a good time. So lavender and red. They really help. I had a little lavender little color. Little crimson. Little lavender color, crimson and blue. Want to use that for the shape. So he wants a purple, a red, and a blue. Okay, so he wants. Okay, so I gotta make a purple, which I don't have a lavender. He didn't mention a lavender. So I have total 15 certifications. Wow. See, that seems like a lot. That seems like a lot of certifications to have. Okay. We got that. Uh, um, I think I've been using this one to blend. Yeah, I really should have got a brighter colored blue. This weird, like, periwinkle light blue just really isn't cutting it. A little too soft of a blue. Okay, so that. And then blue and then crimson, right? The phone here. Make these little noises. They really help. Add white to purple. To just coming up here and turning and crashing. Okay, so crimson... I mean, I can try that. We'll see. I mean, I get what you're saying. I think that my biggest issue is that my blue is so light. I mean, oh, that was way too much white. But I mean, I think I'm already kind of getting a lavender. Because of how light the blue is. Because most of them are covered in one, which is the white card. Oh, so you have like a... a, a a card certification that's like having this card covers like 10, 15 different things. All right. We're mixing this with red. Back, what did I miss? Bigger wave. Uh, he's putting like really specific details on the wave. He's putting like a, a foam, foam shadowing on the front of the wave. It's kind of a lot, honestly. At this point, I'm I'm a little concerned we are not going to finish. Make these little noises. But it just means we'll have to do it again sometime. Think about the reed just coming up here I mean, I'll have time tomorrow. I guess I could do the rest of it tomorrow. Sit in all again to cover a specific job. Oh, okay. So each... Oh, weird. Uh, I get what you're saying, though. Yeah, that's a little dumb. Yeah, see, he's adding, like, a purple. It's just like... Bob, I get you're trying, but, like, it might be a little too much. I had a little lavender color. Crimson. So lavender color, crimson, and blue. Okay, well, now we got to get the crimson open. Yeah, that'll work. This crimson is uh, thin. It's a thin crimson. A little blue. Make a purple. Like, I appreciate you, Bob, but you're, you're going a little hard in the paint here on this. Uh, literally in the paint about, about making this, this foam whatever. Okay, I'm going to need more red. There's That crimson did not... Whoa. There we go. I think I didn't stir it. Wow, that crimson red is not doing anything. I really thought that's a red red. Maybe I just throw a little bright red in there instead. I don't know why he's saying lavender when blue and red is going to be purple, so add more purple to purple. Yeah, well, he wants like a dark, a very dark red purple. He's like, say, take lavender and then add more red to it to make it a dark red, like, purple. And it's like, well, why don't you just make purple then? 
it's kind of weird. He, it, it's an odd statement. Because if you, I mean, if you watch the video, you'll see what it, that he's basically taking a lavender purple that he created himself, and then blending it with more blue and red to make it a darker purple. It's it's kind of a weird statement. Okay, so that's mixed now. Is Ica, Ica, you still in the house? I don't know. I, I haven't seen Ica in a little while. Apparently he is not here. Okay, so what is he using to apply this paint? I'm gonna use that for the shadow color. Give a little zoom in here, please, cameraman. Thank you. Make these little more noises. It looks like he's just using a pretty straight brush and just doing circles with it. Okay, well, that's actually what I mixed it with, so that's probably fine. Oh my god. Okay, it actually needs to be a little darker than that. His is like pitch black. Where is my black? Crimson? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah he basically made like midnight purple is what he's doing. It's an interesting choice, I'll say that much. This is not gonna work out. Yeah. Go away, you lurking lurker. Uh, it has been here since the beginning. He can lurk as much as he wants. So more dark purple is more red than blue. Yeah. But I don't have the right kind of blue for this purple, so... I'm trying to, like, recreate dark purple with the wrong kind of blue. And I have no idea how that's going to work out for me in the end. The above crimson. Oh, wait. Some more dark purple than red than blue. I mean, accidental send. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, I just don't think I'm going to be able to get the purple like he has. I mean, it's so hard to tell what he's doing with this. I mean, maybe it'll make more sense later, but... I guess it's just putting a weird emphasis on it. You don't want to make a Bob Ross painting. You make it yours the way you do it. Yeah. It's not wrong. It's just different. And I, I'm just curious on what's, what's you know, where's he going with this purple? Is he going to use it more or is this kind of it? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, he's actually doing a lot with this purple. What? Okay, I didn't expect that much to be done with the purple. He's making this almost into a rock in front of the wave with purple. We could begin thinking about foam patterns that are just working right on down the It's not quite what I was expecting. These foam patterns are what give shape. Oh, apparently also to your wave. Okay. There's a little window in here and apparently it is absolutely breaking loose outside with the weather. Allows you a little Fun. control. But that's an individual thing. You try it and see. So he did like a whole thing Everybody all the way up here and came back down. That's what makes us all wonderful and special. It would be boring if we were all the same, I'll tell you that. 
to wash that brush and get it nice and clean. And then now he's going into doing paper towel. blue and whites. Okay. Okay. There. Just I was a store man says warehouse logistics for three years and tight. No, not for me. Huh? Yeah, you seem like you need a little bit more action than that. Oh, we have these old oh my God. It is... Uh, it is all coming down outside right now. Like, I can hear it through the little window. It is it is coming loose outside. The the, it is it is gone full ham outside right now. Everybody. Dang. I didn't think we expected any more storms around here, but hopefully my power doesn't. The the power like. Here in the in the building doesn't go out. Dang. I want the challenge in the job progression. Yeah, St stuff like that can just have a dead end job of just doing paperwork, right? They always talk about that with uh, office workers. It's really hard to find progression. Okay, so he's just using kind of a wide brush, probably something like this is what I'm gonna use, and he's just doing like a white, white blue mix to add a bunch of like foam as he comes up to the up to the beach, which that's not actually too hard. We've kind of done that a bit already. Just wipe it on the paper towel, clean it off. And take just pure titanium white. I'm using pure white because- If weather alert over here, ah, okay. If my phone wasn't busy, you know, being a side camera, I'd probably be getting some of that too. A little foam right up here. A little splashy doers. Assuming, you, you know, you live somewhere in, in Arizona. Well, Firebird City specifically, I guess. But. Or I guess one of the neighboring like Tri City areas. Oh, okay. So he's using Victory Screech. <laughs> <laughs> what is that for, Shang Marai? Out of nowhere, the Victory Screech. Okay, so he wants to blend that purple with white to make like a crust, uh, uh, a cresting foam off of that that crashing wave. Interesting. Okay. All right, so then he's just kind of blending it down. He said we was going to have a rock out there. So let's build us a rock. I'm going to take Van Dyke Brown, those dark sienna mixed together. I'm going to put some black in it, too. I want a dark rock. I'm going to use too much light on it. Really dark. Our rock lives right there. Some velvet brush is great for rocks. You just drop hmm. them in. I might actually need to go with something smaller. He's using a pretty but I felt like doing it. Fair. Fair enough. Always use a good victory screech. Take a little of the bright red. Oh my god. It, it is absolutely coming down. I apologize in advance if the water if, if the power goes out. Okay, Bobo. Okay, Bobo. Hold on. And it'll work. And I need to do something. Uh, that might work. I have to thin this a little bit. De emphasize it. There we go. There we go. That's actually better. It's raining there in Australia too. Wow, is it is, is it still one of those like biblical storms where the whole world is suddenly just getting hit by a huge storm? Blur official, are you getting rain right now? Is this it? Is this like the the second coming of Jesus via rain? Scattered rain. Oh, okay. No rain my way yet. Oh, okay, okay. Well, never mind then. I'm not getting rain. Oh, I was just blur official. I was asking if it was raining there also, because it's raining here in in the states in uh, Firebird City, and apparently it's also at the same time running raining in Australia. So I was wondering if it was raining there in uh, in the Germany.
Right now it's okay, but I have a nice... It would be nice to have some, some rain. Yeah, just a nice... Well, I mean, you're, you're Northern Hemisphere, right? So it's still technically uh, summer down there. Chiang Mirai being from the uh, Southern Hemisphere, it's wintertime. I'm going to have to try to blend it. Kind of just do a little. I kind of just does them in a wave out. That's probably good. Ninety-eight degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, that's a that's a that's a spicy summer for Germany. But apparently Europe is being hit with a pretty bad like heat wave right now, right? So it's chilly cold. Well, it's wintertime, right? So thirty seven Cal Celsius is my kind of weather. You're a warm weather guy then. You like a you like a spicy day. Okay, so now I've got to figure out how to blend. We gotta figure out how to blend this. Then he starts blending up into the, the white into the the uh, that purple. Oh no, 115. Yeah, that that hits pretty hard. I know what that feels like. Cold make me sleep better. That's fair. That's fair. I I have a tendency in the summer right now to just turn the AC down a little too low so I can get some good sleep. Getting up in the cold is a different story. Yes, it is. There is, I've had to lay in bed for 10 minutes making myself get out of bed when it's a little too a little too cold. I, mean, I guess he's using kind of it looks like a fan brush for this. Just whack it on a paper towel and clean it off. I'll take just pure titanium white. I'm using pure white because it's going to mix with all these undercolors. I'm a mid temp kind of person. Well, that's fair. I told you I wanted to go to the Limp Biscuit concert. I couldn't because they canceled the tour. Sad face. Oh no! Why did they cancel it? The heat wave or? Oh, Fred Durst has health issues. Well, he's partied pretty hard. That's probably fair on his part. He seems like the kind of dude who's partied pretty hard. Yeah, I do not like this fan brush. It uh, it is not fanning correctly. Let's see if I can't do it with this. He's doing it like, yeah, all the way down. And he does it all the way into that curve.
Let's see. I unfortunately don't have a good lady to kick me out of bed and say, go make the bread. Fair. You will find one. Oh, well, thank you, Blur Official. Supporting one another. Love it. Not necessarily. I need a, a Baltic woman for that. A, what does that mean? What is a Baltic woman? I like how he says white. <laughs> Straylin ladies tend to party a lot, right? Oh, is that a thing? Are they crazy party Sheilas? And, and is it Sheila an offensive term, or is that just a generic, like, woman? I don't want to offend anybody. I'm not... I guess I could try to blend it, but my blending skills is is poor at best. Okay, so you want to blend it with... Okay, that actually might be the best blend job I've ever done. It's a general term? Okay, cool. I don't want to offend anybody, you know, because here in the States, there's a lot of terms for women that are pretty offensive but can still be thrown around pretty casually. Not a fan of that myself. Oh, you make the gush now? Yes, I'm making the weird wave goosh. It's not bad. It's not that might actually be the best blending job I've done this whole time is having that blend in with a weird purple underneath it. Australian chicks are complicated. Well, looks good. Thank you. You need beauty, a beauty blender. I really think I should have gotten one of those. I think that might have legitimately what I needed to do is just get a like a makeup blender for these smaller canvases like this. A little, a small little like makeup blender might have actually worked better than. Trying to get a full size one like Bob is using, or or Mr. Ross, I guess if you're a professional. I'm not a professional though. We said we was gonna have a rock out there, so let's build us a rock. We'll take the Van Dyke brown with dark sienna mixed together. I'll put some black in it too. I want a dark rock. I'm gonna use a lot of black. I want it really dark. Our rock lives right there. Okay, so what is he doing now? So he's doing, wait, what color is this? Okay, so Van Dyke Brown and, and Vienna, or uh, Sint, Sint, and Vienna. Okay, let's build a rock. So he's doing the rock now. So the, 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 the wave is crashing into the rock. Everyone like a good old blend job? Mm, 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 mm. I mean, again, we're on the wrong channel for a blend job. Yeah, Rock lives right here. So he used a uh, Van Dyke Brown and a little Dark Sienna. Put some black in it too. I want dark rock. Van Dyke Brown and Dark Sienna. Okay. Our rock is not going to be as dark as his, but that's okay. It'll probably help it stand out a little bit better because we have so much dark stuff going on on there already. That's yellow. What? And crimson. Wait, am I missing? Van Dyke Brown. Wait, where did my. Oh. Ah, okay, Earth Tone. Okay, we're doing an Earth Tone instead of the. Instead of the Van Dyke Brown. We're doing an Earth Brown. Okay. Wow. So there's lightning now. Our rock lives right there. Dang, it is coming down out so there. Okay. Okay, so he's just using like a medium-sized brush and doing kind of a, a back swoop to get his rock. That's fine. I can do that, I think. Some dark sienna mixed together. Put some yeah, my, my rock's not going to be as dark as his, but that's okay. Use a lot of black. Really it's going to cover a little bit more ground probably, too. Rock. Paint talk, not an adult con content intention. Should get a cat, yeah. There, we have a 
little Ooh. cute fur ball to come home to. Yeah. Wake up in the morning. Even though Henry rocks. Find a little mess. Get angry and yell at the cat, but you know, still love it all anyways. Yeah, there's so many different kinds of cats. You're not wrong, Toxic Lullaby. Okay. Might want to throw... I'm going to throw just a, a dot of black into this. I got no one to care for it if I'm away. That's true. I mean, how many do you go on? I mean, you got trips and stuff. But do you, do you go out of town often? I know for a while there you used to kind of go to job sites for days at a time, right? Is that still a thing you have to worry about? Okay, I like this brown a little bit better. I think we made a better rock brown. Okay, and he just kind of dabs it in there off to the side. And he like actually connects it. He goes down and then he kind of does a little scoop out. And then he kind of cuts up to the front of that wave. Okay, he has a little red on it to give it some color. Okay. Maybe do a red brown. I would like a Russian short hair. I'm going to for, for weeks at a time now. Oh, Caddy Pretty Instant, but I'm sure you could find a nice pet sitter. Soft kitty, yeah. Um, I mean, what's the rules on bringing a pet with you? Or could you get something that's even more like laid back and get like a rabbit? We're not turning this into the poem, all right? I don't, I don't, we don't stand uh, Big Bang Theory around here, everybody. It was a fine show, that's great, but, but it, it had its time. Okay. how he's going to blend this with with the beach stuff or even we're going to put a beach on it i guess okay so now he's just using like a bright red i'm assuming rocks take a little the bright red bright red and bright and didn't clean the brush oh okay well i already cleaned the brush so that's unfortunate Let's see where is he going with this it's okay the brown's still there so we should be okay Nope. Can't bring pets where I'm going. Ah, oh, all right. Yeah, I mean, maybe... <laughs> can you find a pet friend who you can go over and hang out with their cat for once in a while or, like, something? Or pet set for them so you can have the pet for a couple days at a time? Okay, so, yeah, it's just brown with a with a red in it. But not well blended. Okay. All right. That's fine. Interesting he's doing a red, but Happy Kitty, Sleepy Kitty per No. Pirate Parrot should be allowed. <laughs> I mean that would be awesome. If I could see someone rolling around with a, a with a pi uh, with a pirate parrot, it would definitely be Chang Marai. I go visit my friend's pets. Yeah, there you go, exactly. You know, borrow them borrow for a night? Nothing wrong with that.
just not wanting to mic this out. more of a dab thing that's what it is it's more of a dab thing that would be epic the parrot yeah they love me every time i visit well there you go you're like a good pet uncle there's nothing wrong with that okay hold on i want to see what he did with this red okay so he's kind of blending it in as he goes okay kind of running it down to the ground up here a little bit. Let's put a little color in the rock. Again, it does not want to hold this red and do a good red, but probably fine. Pet uncle, a punkle? Yeah. What kind of pets do they have? That's a good question. Rock. There we go. Oh, he's doing actually quite a bit of red. All the way down there, huh? And it's probably enough red. I don't want to go too crazy with it. Okay, so what are we doing next there, Bobo? I think the only thing I'm really going to need to change is maybe I'm going to have to figure out a way to kind of fill in some blue. If we had a darker blue from the beginning, it would have probably been okay, but... Okay, so he's blending in just some blue water going... Blue white into the water for the uh, uh, mists. Well, Goran has a pur a purebred American staffy and two cats. A staffy? Huh. I don't know if I'm familiar with a staffy. Sounds interesting though. A staffy. The dog. Her name is Jesse. Oh, okay. Where your beach is going to be. Ah, okay, here we go. We're going to start getting into some some of the setting up the, the beach stuff. Okay. Okay, he's just doing a blue-white into the rock to give it a little bit more emphasis of the water kind of trickling through. Okay, we can do that. Should I do it? Okay, I have a little bit of blue and white left on here, so... Play with this. You can literally always yeah, he's going pretty light with the blues in here.
see. It kind of sounds soothing hearing the rain coming through. I don't know how much it's pouring down. Oh, you can hear the rain, like, my rain? You can actually hear that? Yes? Oh, wow. Yeah, it is, it's sheets in the wind. It is, it is full rain right now. The cat's names are Leo and Cello. Or, is that Cello or Cello? Love the sound of rain. Well, I didn't mean to turn this into a rain ASMR, but here we are. It is so much fun to Here's a little Bob Ross mixed with I like, it. I like to do these little simple seascapes. Sometimes seascapes can get to be a sun. I think we're good on 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 water on the uh, on the rock. We need a little area up in here. It looks like beach. Leo being the tomcat. Not sure about the other one. Fair. Decide basically we're using the two inch brush beach is gonna be. and we're right. doing the beach what color what color is the beach area up in here a it little area like up beach. here looks, looks like a beach white. take a little white we just use the two inch brush, the two -inch brush. basically where your beach is going to be let's say it's and he's just doing pull straight down oh he's just doing a white there we go Oh, weird. Okay, so he's doing like a white, just mixed with. There's a light source. Huh. Little additional white right there. Yeah, he's just doing like a blurred white, and then he's blending it with brown, I think, with a Van Dyke brown. Okay, we can do that. Place to take your shoes off. Just let your feet run naked through there. Now let's decide where a weed comes. I'm gonna take the small knife. I use the small knife for this. And then, blue. okay, so just just some white and Van Dyke brown to make kind of a light, light sandy brown. All right. I probably don't even need to add white with it. I can probably just go. Um, uh, go with a. a Probably, well, I probably should add a little bit of white to this earth brown. Actually, let's try the uh, burnt sienna. Mm. Yeah, I think if I just do a little bit of white with that, we'll get more of a sand. Right now it looks a little mud, but I think if we mix it with a dab of white, Oh, that's too much white, I think, but we're going to play with it and see what happens. I'll go with one of our bigger ones. That'll work. Let's see. Rain is soothing for me when I'm in a tent or when I sleep in the car. I love it. Oh, I just saw it. Um. Yeah. I have I have a tendency myself to have I have a little rain sound app on my phone and I routinely sleep with that on that's for sure. Okay. Oh, let me blend this and then we will try seeing what it looks like. Yeah, that might be a little too bright. Might throw a smidge of black in it just to give it a little. To make it a little bit darker since this is supposed to be kind of a night beach. A little yellow in it. Well, we don't want to make it bright because it's supposed to be like nighttime. Like, after sunset, basically. That's probably too much black. But let's find out. 
Might make it more sandy colored. Oh, it's sandy. It actually did a pretty good job coming out looking sandy. Um, this one here. Uh, it's just too bright colored. It's like sandy in the middle of the day. That black is strong. It just, it is just eating all that color and turning it gray. Dang. Thought maybe if I threw some more brown in there, it would help even out that gray color, but it just made it grayer. All right. That's okay? Okay, great. It's hard to control your amounts with these little po little bottles. Am I home? Hold on one second. Oh yeah, iBytes, are you still here? We haven't heard from you in a minute. Okay. All right, let me mix this up and see if we can't get a slightly darker ocean, or, uh, uh, beach color. I think we might have we might have done it actually. I'm gonna throw a little more brown into it, just a smidge. Well, uh, burnt sienna brown, but I'm still here just multitasking. You're doing a great job. Oh, okay, thank you. So busy, so busy on a Saturday night. Nonetheless. Maybe a little more and then maybe a dab of white. But we're very close to getting this. The black that I got is very strong. It is not a subtle black at all. It is it is a full black. Okay. This is looking better. I'm going to try to hit it with a little bit of white and see if we can't get a, just a little more like light tan on it. And then we'll give it a shot. See what we can do with a beach. Actually, that might work. We might have got there. Actually, we might throw a little yellow into it now. I don't 
No, that's really, I'm really torn on that. Like, does this look like beach sand at night? You think I should throw a little yellow in it to make it a little bit brighter? This one here. I know I'm torn. I don't know. You know what? I think with the rocks we've got, that might be okay. I don't know if I want to throw any yellow in with it. Candium yellow is a little lighter. That can that the canary yellow is a bright bright yellow. I'm gonna throw just a little yellow. Ooh, that's probably too much. Okay, okay. It actually is working all right. Okay, actually, I think the yellow helped. I think that added just enough little extra color. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I think that's going to work for us. Uh, oh, welcome. Welcome, Cusernity? Uh, Cusernity? Uh, first time chat, welcome. I would like to help with your being creative, but I almost failed pottery class because I could never make anything out of clay that didn't ex explode in the kiln. Fair. And it's not, you know, it's not about helping. It's just the fun of it, you know, painting along with such an expert. And someone who brought so much and tell it like... So much advanced concepts to, to regular people and made it fun, you know? Not to mention the guy's just full of, like, crazy wisdom and stuff. Like, I watched through this, like, just listening to him talk, and there's a whole thing where he goes on about, like, making your own and leaving a legacy after you die. And it's like, wow, you just got super deep there, Bob Ross, in the middle of this painting video. All right, so, so he does kind of the bottom here. I'm pretty light though. I'm gonna grab some of that last little bit of yellow. Let's see. Well, he doesn't do it quite all the way up. More like I mean, his isn't quite as thick as mine, but that's, that's, that's fine. Uh, Blair Official Raven, it was a pleasure again. It's almost 4 a.m. Glad I could make it to your stream. It was fun. Thanks for stopping by, Blair Official. Sleep well. I, I definitely try to keep an eye out for your next uh, painting stream, and I'll come in there and uh, support you best I can. I'll use a little German translator thing and try to throw some German at you. What is it? Guten Tag? Or is that is that like Swedish? I mean, technically, my heritage is German. I ha I'm supposed to have a lot of German heritage. Like, the primary would be German, I guess.
I'm curious to see what he's going to do next. Uh, I'm going to take it easy. Hey, I'm Uncle Roger. <laughs> Uncle Roger, the, the cooking guy. Make everything in English, but some viewers have problems with English. Oh, that's fine. You don't have to count. You don't have to, uh, to do stuff in English. Yeah, it's Guten Tag. Okay, great. I'm happy I nailed it. That's okay. Still serious problems with English. Yeah, I'm, I'm terrible at all languages equally. I'm not racist because I'm terrible at all languages at the same time. It's fantastic. I have a long, my whole life has been a long history of being bad in English. And language in general. I was like advanced at math, but then I was back in English. So they, they're like, well, what do we do with them? Okay, so what are we doing with the stallow blue? Just a little. Basically, it comes. Oh, okay, so he's doing the, the fill in to the beach with the foam. Ah, okay, so we're about done, which is good. It's seven o'clock. I was hoping to kind of wrap up about seven, so this could actually work out perfectly for us. Words! Yeah, words, exactly. Okay, so he's just filling that all in basically with like a blue, a blue and white at this point, which is great. We can do that. My, my, my distances and, and uh, sizing is very different than his, but I have a much different uh, painting surface than he does, so that's probably fine. Working on all these little things, putting in detail. Yeah, he's just filling this whole last little bit with blue and whites to kind of bring it up to the beach. Which is fine. We can actually do that. That's basically what I wanted to do to finish, try to get this thing finished, was blue and white all the way to the end there. So now The problem is going to be whether what kind of um, brush I should use. Now he's getting a little fancy here while he's punching holes to do like emphasis with the blue on top of the blue and white, and I'm probably not going to bother too much with that. I don't think I have the raw skill for that. Okay, so now we're just going back to the blue and white to kind of finish off bringing the foam up to the beach, which is fine by me. I'll probably go through and put some blue, like blue and white mixed into these, kind of fill in these gaps, because they look a little wonky with the black, but I wish the U.S. school system emphasized more things outside the U.S. A lot of the time doesn't feel like they even really cover basic geography sometimes. No. World geometry is not, or <laughs> geometry, world geography is not, not a thing really in, in U.S. Uh, schooling systems, unfortunately. You come right in here. Usually you just learn about like World War II and that's about the end of it. Oh, little, these are the little goodies that make your painting work. Beautiful. Like for a long time, I thought, I thought Korea, the Korean War and uh, the Vietnam War were sort of the same thing that happened at the same time and around the same place. But in reality, no, they were, you know, years of, they were like a decade and a half apart in very different parts of the world. But no one ever really gave me the details. It was always just something that mentioned that, yes, we had the Korean War, we had the Vietnam War. This is what happened and why, and then moving on. There's very little detail about these two wars because I, I assume it's more of a national, you know, shame that we lost those wars or didn't win them triumphantly or something. Putting some yellow in the background. I don't know about that, there. Bob. I, mm, you might be going a little too too far there, Bobbo. Little sunk. All right. All right. So he just wants some blue and white, making some foam up here. I can do that. I think. Yeah, he's just bringing it right up to the beach.
right? There we go. And then he's just doing blue and white kind of throughout.
sorry. I was in the mo I was in the zone there for a second. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, true. I had a great homeroom school teacher who had been all around the world. Always had a fun stories to share. Wish more teachers like that. That's for, yeah. A good teacher can really change a lot when it comes to school. Almost every war that the states were in in Australia has been has been there. Yeah, it, it, it's your it's shocking how routinely both Canada and Australia show up to wars that the U.S. were in. But were the states involved in the Great Emu War? I think you lost that one on that one on too. Well, I mean, anybody involved with the Emu War lost. I don't know. Fortunately, we did largely win our way at war, our war against the Buffalo. Oh, we. We um co we committed a full uh, a genocide on the buffalo, unfortunately. The Great Plains Buffalo. Now I'm just going to fill in this last little bit of black with blue, and then I think we're going to call it good. We had a little over time, probably about a 30 minutes later than I really was aiming for, but that's okay. Art can't be rushed, everybody. Remember that. It's meant to take time. you're that one guy we were talking about earlier if you're that one guy we were talking about earlier who does all of his speed painting that guy's you know he's, he's in a hurry he needs to paint a painting at 1150 and he needs to be somewhere at 1155 all right buffalo steaks again mm. <laughs> look i'm not saying the reason we killed the buffalo was because they were super delicious i'm just saying buffalo were super delicious and we killed a lot of them. That's the, I'm not saying that's a one and a one. I'm just saying that's one. The both things are true. Never tried buffalo. I think I've had buffalo once before, like literal buffalo. Um, but and I remember it being pretty good. I know we sell ground bison and buffalo and stuff at work, but well, my one of my one of my jobs, my weekend job. It's not beautiful, but it's 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 functional, I think. I think this is a little wonky still. But I think the rest of it came came around okay. A little bit more white. It's interesting reading about extinct animals in the country we live in, stuff like the passenger pigeons blotting out the sun for minutes on end, or the native parakeet that actually thrived quite well at keeping pests out of farmlands. It feels like peeking into another reality. Yeah. It's 
It's it's it's interesting for sure. I think other than this, I think the rest of this came out okay. I, I think I get what I was supposed to be doing there, but I don't think I have the, the fine skill enough to apply the, uh, like the riptide water effect, like that water foam that he was talking about. I just don't have that, that skill yet. Or maybe I, my, my, like the mix of the fact that I didn't have the clear coat Mixed with the uh, um, uh, my subpar brushes, maybe had a part into it too. I don't know. I think the vague idea is there. I think we're okay in that regard. Um, I think it's all the vaguely there. Quincernity, it looks really cool to me. Well, thank you. Like, it's definitely not Bob Ross's. But this is like the... the this is the Super Nintendo version of the Bob Ross, like, PS5 version, right? Like... Mine's lacking a lot of the finer details, but you can still tell what it's kind of supposed to be. Like, it's a beach at night with, like, some clouds in the distance and stuff. Whereas, uh, whereas, uh, Bob Ross's is, like, a PS5. Like, you can tell that there's, like, detail in every wave. You can tell that there's, like, individual grains of sand. Now, he did add one other thing onto his that I'm not going to bother with. He does end up adding some palm trees coming out off of this left side. Um, I'm not worried about that. Like I said, I've already kind of gone over time, um, which is not a, not a big deal. But So I think right now I'm going to call it right there for, for this. Um, what I'll do here in a second is I will show you the uh, uh, what his looks like. And then uh, you can see what mine looks like and we can compare them. And we can see how much of the trash it is. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So. Can we see that okay? Like, look again. It's like, okay, this is supposed to be a beach at dusk or just after sunset. 
Waves are coming in, kind of cresting over a rock. You got that other island in the distance. You got some purple clouds, which is interesting, but you got some blue and some like, you know, that last little bit of yellow in the sky as it, it's kind of fading around the, the, the bend. Talks a little about you did great. Well, thank you for the support, everybody. All right, now let me show you what the old master himself, Bob Ross, got away with. Ugh. I'll show you where it's at now, and then we can kind of continue the video for a little bit, and you can see where it ends up for, for you know, what he's doing. Okay, so this is also good to know that it, uh, an e each video is going to take me, at least for the time being, about three hours. That helps me understand the, the time constraints that I'm working with. Because I was like, I don't know if this is going to take me an, uh, 30 minutes. It's going to take me an hour or what. But apparently it's going to take me about about um, three hours for his 30 minutes, basically. All right. Let me, uh, let me show you this. Let's blow her up to f oh, no, 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 full screener. All right. Let's see if I can get a better camera angle. Okay, Bob, step back just a second here, and let me see where you're at right now, Bob. It also helps, though, that he is working on a bigger canvas, meaning he can get a little bit more of the old uh, detail in there, right? These little lines here are what shape your way. Dang, I get it. There's a national flood warning and all that jazz. I get it. I get it. So, yeah, you'll see that mine is basically a low-res version of his. I think the biggest issue I have... Oh, oh, that's perfect. That's basically perfect. Okay. So let me show you um, this one. Yep. All right, that one. So that's what he's at right now. This is That's the same stage that I'm at, basically. So there's his. There's mine. Now, his clouds came out different because I could not get... I don't have that blending technology like he does. So mine are clouds. They're just not those fine, wispy clouds like he's got. I've got some big, chonky clouds. So his... You can see, uh, you know, you got your trees in the distance. You got your wispy clouds, which I couldn't pull off. And I couldn't get this blending motion to work quite right for me. But you got the red and the rocks, which we got that. Um... We got the, the the little lines in here and the uh, the white to emphasize the curl. I could not get this this green to work quite right for me. It's there, but it's just not not the same as how he pulled it off. Um, you know, we got the his beach is a little strange. It's a little it almost looks a little like worn out, like this part of the painting is older than the rest of it. But yeah, otherwise you got your your crests in the water. You know, your other island, just your kind of open water stuff here going on. Um, you got your, your your reds, your blues, your various colors here in the distance of the, the, the range, which I did manage to pull that off, I think, pretty well. Uh, let's go down to this one. I mean, you can see, I mean, I've got your range colors, your blues, your, your reds, your different colors to the sky, the pink clouds. Your other kind of blue up more up this way as the as the light's starting to fade, it's starting to get a little darker. You got your whites and stuff in here for the foam on the curves. You do have the green, but it's very light. I really need to figure out how he does that. You got your red and your rock in here. That's fine. You got your other island with your little trees and stuff on it. I think I've got the the spirit of the painting just without the fine details like he's got. Definitely lacking in the fine details. Um, let's see. Let's finish up what he's got here. A little bit of cad yellow and white. Good job. Practice makes perfect. Thank you. I want to brighten this area as it comes around. Uh, this one. Like the reflection of the sun in the distance off the beach sand. It, but it just kind of comes off looking like this part's worn out or something. It's a little weird. To make a very effective little seascape. I hope you try it. But yeah, so, I mean, he also has a, this kind of circular, so it's got a little bit of a different thing to it. But, uh, yeah, I think if I were to just take a, a little bit of time to just throw to throw the uh, um, palm trees on there, I think I would have nailed the, the essence of the painting, generally speaking. But yeah, I think I just need to get a better fan brush. This fan brush I've got is, uh, 
it just it binds up a little too much like it looks okay here but as soon as i put any paint on it it starts like going off in the little like teams instead of being a an actual brush brush oh, okay but there we go i guess we did it everybody um we uh uh Oh, I didn't realize I didn't have the chat on for the most of this. I apologize. <sighs> Not that there's a lot of room on this screen for that to, to be a thing. Um, but all right. So uh, let me wrap it up real quick. Uh, scheduling. Um, right now, I believe... So next week, we'll be back to Nightmare of Decay. Uh, four or 3 p.m. here on Twitch. Um, then Tuesday... We've got uh, Action Tuesday with uh, Mega Man Zero, as recommended by Ika. Um, that'll be at 4 p.m. And then Thursday, we have more Alufia 2, uh, as recommended uh, recommended by Cardinal of Exodus. Uh, and uh, yeah, that'll be 4 p.m. here on Twitch. Then over on uh, uh, the YouTube repository, we have all of the stuff I create gets lightly edited and put up there. Uh, that's uh, Raven Hillbrook Inc. Hillbrook is one word, I-N-C. You think I did really well? Well, thank you. Uh, but we have uh, links for that are in chat and on the info page. Um, we also have the Discord. Uh, that's where we have the recommend recommendation section. I do try to go through that. I do try to play the things you recommend. Obviously, if it's a longer thing, like something for Thursday, it might take me a while to get to it because those take months to play through. Whereas if it's an action-y thing and I can burn through it in like a month, Obviously, I can throw th go through those a little bit faster. Uh, but we have the recommendations play pay part. We have the lunch. We have food part. We have animal part. We've got the uh, uh, we got water cooler humor. If you want to post memes, uh, we've got general discussion stuff. We've got uh, an after hours uh, spicy stuff. We've got the art section. Any kind of art you create, if you paint it along with this, take a photo and throw it up there. We love to see it. Um, then, last but not least, we have the Twitter. At Hillbrook Inc. Again, Hillbrook is one word, INC. Schedule reminders, updates if there are changes, and note from management to the board. Um, if you need a well thought out solution, you need a thinking solution, Raven Hillbrook Inc. Thinking Solutions. Um, Tuesday, we will be back in the normal office space. Um, yeah, we'll be back in the normal office space. So appreciate this difference for a little while. You know, the, the big writing boards and whatever that other smaller writing board is. And. This table and then these these basic chairs I found in here and stuff. Adios. Oh, I swear I'm not an elk. Welcome back. Um, I hope everyone had a nice time doing something different. Now, I did promote this as a drinking stream. Unfortunately, there's some other stuff I have to do after we get done here. That's why I was trying to wrap it up by 7. So I was not able to drink on this one. Um, I was always here. Well, that's good. I'm happy you were you were able to watch even if you if, if, if the chat wasn't available at the time. But hopefully this encourages you all to go and see, like seeing me hopefully do this compared to the masterwork helps you, encourages you to go try some art stuff that maybe you wouldn't normally be uh, happy or comfortable with. Like uh, Cusinity, Cus, 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 Cusinity, you were saying you're having a hard time with, uh, I'm going to paint my cat. No, don't paint animals. No, that's not you. You you're choosing the wrong the wrong um, surface to paint on. Now you could go and paint a cat, like go and paint a picture of a cat. But don't paint your cat. Paint a picture of your cat. All right, somebody else's. No, no, no. We don't paint live animals. No, no, no. You want to paint pictures of live animals? That's one thing. But don't paint the actual live animal themselves. I'm going to character build my characters. Well, I mean, maybe this will give you a, a you know a new way to express your your character building is by by doing art of your characters being character built. Q Serenity. Okay, it's easier to say. Yes, thank you. I will, I appreciate the clarification. Character build my cat. No, no, no. Don't care. Like a, the only way you're okay to character build your cat is with a as a is a uh uh. Predetermined character building cat toy, like the la the laser or like a little mouse on a rope, or something like that. Then maybe a little bit of character building just for the fun of it. But we really want to avoid character building animals. They don't they don't take well to character building. Their usual way of character building is easier to become very scared or very uh, angry, um, and it has a tendency to stay that way. 
Say I was, wait, what? I was, I was just saying I am bad at artistic things. Well, that's okay. You can still try stuff you're bad at. I mean, look at what I pulled off. I mean, I'm not good at it, but at least I tried. And that's what the fun is. I'm going to shave my head and call me Saitama. I mean, are you going to cosplay Saitama? Or are you just like going full in on the one punch man lifestyle? Your cat will character build me. I'm allergic to cat fur unless you have a bald cat. I mean, a bald, I mean, the, those, what is it? Egyptian bald cats? I can't remember where the bald cats are from. Oh, let me get out of this. Whoop. Full on lifestyle. Okay. So you got to do what? You got to run five miles a day and then do a hundred pushups and a hundred squats a day. Uh, other than that, you just got to clip coupons and look for a good deals, which Ika can work with you on that one. He's very good at that. Uh, all right. Um, so I think we got, okay, board members. We want to thank all the board members who stopped by. Uh, I swear I'm not an elk. Chang Marai, Ika, Q Serenity, uh, Toxic Lullaby. Um, I know we got Blur Official, of course. Thank you for stopping by. I know back at the very beginning, we had a new person join up. Clem, Clemen, Clemmy, Brianary, Clemenary, Clemmy, Brianary. They, uh, they, they gave us a follow. Thank you so much. We appreciate that new follow. Um, whoop. I'm the master of coupons. Oh, you're, you're, you're two thirds of the way in there. You've got two foots into the uh, Saitama boots already. You just gotta get those pants on. Well, I guess it's a onesie, so you just gotta like zip up the back of the onesies, and you're there. That's all you gotta do. You're there. Yeah, thank you all board members for being here. Um, um, I think that covers everything. I hope you all can make it back on Tuesday. And unless something happens about tomorrow, which I don't think I have plans on. Or no, you know what? I think I just got a, a uh, I'll have to double check. I think I do have a bunch of plans actually that came up for tomorrow. Um, but but um, I'm also off my, my day job Monday and I don't have any plans. So maybe Monday. Monday, maybe I can stop. I can jump in to do some um, Dark Souls 2 for a couple hours or something. I don't know. It all kind of depends on who decides they need need to do something that involves my life. So. <laughs> Have a nice night. Thank you. Uh, Mega Man Zero Tuesday. Yeah, I can look forward to it. Uh, everybody else, I hope to see you all back on Tuesday, if not earlier, depending on how my life goes the next couple of days. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't. Oh, uh, go out and try art. Art supplies aren't that expensive. Just go do it. I swear I'm not an elk. Bye. That's right. That's our exit sign right there. You need a well thought of solution. You need a thinking solution. And uh, that's about it for us. Bye.